the arc for that. <laughs> yeah, the end of <laughs> the arc four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh, the, very lo- good. the longest arc we've ever done. Yeah, <laughs> the longest arc. The yeah, longest the longest fight. arc. Um, Our fucking yeah, fifteen Jones episode battle. Oh, yeah. the longest fight. Yeah, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, the longest fight. I know. Oh, the longest fight. Oh, the <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome to the finale to fight. of this mini series that we are doing over here. Before we get going, I just want to are mention that. Yeah, we are. Great. I just want to mention that we are a, we are a podcast <laughs> now too. You can listen to all of Arc ones, two, and three as a podcast. I'm saying that up front because I was working on it today. Uh, all of Arc three is going to Ooh. is going up this week, and I'm going to be spamming the chat for the rest of this month year with all of Arc four. It's going up like Month's that. Here. So uh, yeah. you can you can catch up uh, if you want to join us. If you are watching this miniseries and have enjoyed it, but you're not caught up with Arc 4 and you're like, damn, I wish I could live chat with people while I'm watching episodes. Guess what? You can if you catch up and join us for Arc 4. So that's my little promo. Um, if you If you want to. Uh, yeah, arc excuse five, me. Yeah. Man, Arc 5. It feels wrong to say Arc 5, but it's true. Um, it's going to be a big one. We're we're in oh, we're in five. the end game. We're in the big game now. We'll we'll say that at least. So anyway, if you if you want to binge the show and it's easier for you to do it as a podcast, um, then and you're not just an insane person like me who sits on their computer and watches TTRPG streams all day, um, then you can listen to it as a podcast while you like run errands or exercise or do productive world things. Um, and so anyway, I don't know why I'm still going. Somebody else take over and do an intro. Uh, <laughs> Scully's doing her own version of an intro. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode four of our mini series. If you're new to the stream, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel Weeks, and I play a gif bard paladin, a palabard. What's the name of, what's the, name of the miniseries? Just name it right now, uh, Rachel. Name it. The streets of brawl. Oh, <laughs> brawl the, shit. Yes. Yes. the brawl. The streets of brawl. Yeah. Holy shit! Called. Drained it. That was that's perfect. What that's what uh, it's called. Uh, 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 <laughs> the streets of brawl. Bam. Yes. Done. Oh, yeah. uh, so on the yeah, that's like what a, we do like on an NES game. That's what we do on all of our finales: is name the series we're ending. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Thank you so much Finally. for joining us. Uh, quick pause. Okay, so are we fully frozen? Stream's frozen. Oh no! Nice. Oh no! Seems Where like we're back. Like these pictures, maybe. Have we returned? Um, in the Dropbox, baby. Okay, I think we're back. Weekly assets let's go. for case. Let's, let's, yeah, let's keep running. Yep. Let's keep rolling. We're back. Rolling. We're going. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling. Who's next? Aaron. Uh, Jordan James. Doll. Or Jordan. Fuck. And, I, and my friend Aaron is next. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to jump in because I thought I needed to, but I'm sorry, Jordan. My name's Aaron Urist, and I play Grey Boy Burgle Brot. Burgle Blatt. <laughs> the, the, forgetful forgetful the, uh, the, the forgetful <laughs> little. Yeah, he's a he's a conniving little guy. And I'm Jordan Dahl, and I play Bart Mondo, the surf's up, uh, not druid, that's a different dude. Uh, <laughs> so the surf's up, surf's up, barbarian. Imagine making a mistake. <laughs> I'm Harley <laughs> Kelly, I'm the dungeon master of this game, and I play everybody else. I get to use my same one, ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and I'm going to do a recap, you ready? I prepped this. Um, I'm going to do a recap. So uh, this is the miniseries known as the uh, Streets of Brawl miniseries. And this is the finale. So on this finale, this group has, this little group of uh, terrible criminals has um, (laughs) somehow come across a very kind-hearted flump who seems to have a very important secret about the state of the security on the Rocket Brawl as it's being surrounded by nautiloid ships uh, up in the air that the political controversy on the Rocket Brawl right now is if, if they are going to attack or if they aren't. And they seem to have this flump that has information that confirms that these ships are going to attack. And they have been told that... Uh, some there is someone they could take this flump to. They were told by a goblin um, who's known as the Bread Pirate. Uh, anyone? Dog burp. Dog burp. Dog burp. Dog burp. Uh, yeah, this is. I'm is gonna it, do a Mad Lib style. Dog burps. 
Or dog, or just one burp. I think it was a singular dog. Burp. Yeah, s- single burp, single okay. great pirate dog burp. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's fun to do a Mad Lib style, and then mm. um, they might be able. Uh, they were told by the the bread pirate dog burp, who seems to have a a, a lovely cr- crush on um, our friend Gray Boy Burgleblatt. Um, a nice little crush. Uh, you also have stolen the keys to a surf jammer, a very famous one, whose name is. Oh, I have it written down. Cynthia. Hang on. I've got it written down. Camarella. Startilda. Just Startilda. 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 Yeah. Camarella was like kind of close. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's like a less, it's we'll another it. one. Yeah, it's a lesser model, but we'll is, is it. there. Yeah, yeah. When uh, she's with me, she goes by Camarella. Uh, and it, uh, it, they've been told um, that if they take the flump, uh, whose name is? Izix. Izix. Uh, to someone, uh, they were told by the th- this this recap has gone awry. I don't care. This is fun. The uh, queen the, of the night of the light. Yeah, there the you go. Yeah, exactly. The if they the take light. it to the the captain of the night of the light, then uh, they will be able to rally the people who are necessary t- uh, to get the rock of brawl to believe that these nautiloids are going to attack. Um, the Queen of the Night of Light would uh, would believe you and be able to mobilize people. So, right. we left this crew off as they were taking Isix the Flump to the Queen of the Night of the Light after talking to uh, Dog Burp, the bread pirate Dog Burp. Um, mm-hmm. They were Tired taking it to the Queen of the Night of the Light. Smith. Yeah. But mm-hmm. on the way there, uh, as they were arriving at the docks, a mind flayer floated out oh. from the shadows and cut them off and said, I believe you have something that is mine. And that is where we're going to pick up tonight's session. So, Case, if you could roll the intro, we'll see you on the other side. Roll that beautiful intro. Fuck, what are we going to do about this mind flare? I don't know. We'll find out right now. Jam. Jam, Jam, baby. (laughs) Jam. You all, a uh, a hippopotamus person with a... um, A gif. A gif with a... Excuse me, you're right. You're right. I apologize. Um, For our listeners, non-canonically... Is a hippo is, person. Is is a is a vertical hippo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for the visuals, it's a vertical hippo. Vertical hippo. Yeah. A, a, a parallel mm. <laughs> Incredible, incredible, Aaron Uris. You Wait, are a, a true poet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nosebleed. <laughs> so, this crew here, um, this surfer dude, uh, this weird little criminal, and a hippopotamus with bagpipes. Um, you all are all standing here and this mind flare is floating in front of you with this like cloak on that's like billowing it's it's not touching the ground uh, it has revealed its full large um, uh, you know very smooth blue gray head and all of its tentacles are just flowing out in front of it with its huge black beady eyes and it's looking at you and it, it says I believe you have something that is mine and it says that to you in your minds like in your head Armando not out loud Armando goes is it uh, I don't think Excuse we me. stole from them I think are you uh, just uh, are you just uh, recoiling at my physical appearance oh, and I'm sorry smell, we, dude. and the smell Oh, do uh, we do we know each other, or no? I I don't think we have anything of your and um, in my pocket, I would like to press the button on the uh, spe- the uh, board jammer. Star Tilda. Star Tilda. Oh so, sure, because that it can be called to us, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, by pressing this button. Yeah, you I'm hit- gonna I'm gonna press the button and. Uh, Take a couple of steps backwards and just try to kind of buy us some time. 
Does sure, Barmondo yeah. see this? That's a question for are you, Gray Boy. Are you kind of flaunting it at all, or are no, you just I'm kind definitely of definitely trying to uh, hide it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So you, uh, you press this button, and you hear somewhere far off, just like very far off, and very uh, quietly, you just hear a, a, a shattering of glass <laughs> and a, a yell. Sorry, Lou. <laughs> um, sorry. I paid for it. And um. <laughs> What the uh, hell? And the and the mind flare. You know what? I'm, I gotta keep. I gotta. I'm gonna put my own personal timer on this conversation. Hold on, let me start a stopwatch on my phone mm. um, <laughs> just to. So the mind flare st- uh, floats toward you all, and it says, "There is no reason any harm needs to come to anyone. I'm happy to pay you what you are owed for capturing the monster, and we can continue on. It is a large sum of money." So, uh, w- what attachment do you have to this flump? Uh, it's mm. a terrible monster that is full of lies and deceit, so I'm happy I... to take it off of your hands and compensate you for it. How much? 10,000 gold. I... Mm. Wait, yeah. do, we, do we look like little children to you? No, you look like uh, powerful look and like able professionals. 10,000 gold? You think that's what it's worth? Yes, I do. It's like rent for come on half a yeah. month, maybe. There's three of us here. We're not roommates. It's, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it's a fleet. You could buy a fleet of ships for ten thousand gold. Uh, we don't need a fleet. <laughs> maybe you could buy a fleet of ships for ten thousand gold. <laughs> but where I come from, we can't. So <laughs> sure, uh, uh, Gray Boy, uh, you hear uh, you hear another smash, another smash. Uh, it's like still far away, but you know that this board is like breaking <laughs> through things to get closer. <laughs> you realize it was gonna take the most direct <laughs> it's route. It's stopping to break windows all the way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've got it set to vandalize. <laughs> Shit. Hang on. Let me fix that. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have stealth mode, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> oh, it threw a water balloon into a mailbox. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Good lord! Do um does Bart Mondo know that I, I, is Gray Boy telling the truth about this this money thing? I am definitely trying to just kind of. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite thing. How much do things cost in, D- in tabletop RPGs? Uh, well, I, I think it, no, I mean, I, I think that's like, probably a lot of money. Although we did Mondo make... falling for the grift. Uh, you can <laughs> roll an insight check with disadvantage because right. you are uh, mm-hmm. one of your... Yeah. You're a negative boon. Couldn't buy your a fleet of ships is, for 10,000 gold. How, we made yeah, 2,000 gold in one night of card cheating. <laughs> anyway, I, it doesn't... It's not Does, important. Uh, an ongoing and, joke in this stream and in a couple of games Aaron and I have played together is how bad I am at estimating how many, much things cost in, in role playing games. And it's about so, $100. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. God, I got a uh, crit the first time. And then a dirty 21. He's quite, okay. pers- oh. he's quite perceptive for a, for a, a little dingus. A dumb I dingus. Uh, so give us the flavor of it. You know that he's stalling. Yeah, so give us I, the think, flavor. I think he's like, he's like where I come from. We couldn't, you know, what are we, children? And he's like, are we? Sometimes I get mistaken for a child. <laughs> and it feels right. bad. But then he's like, then he, then he hears the thing about the gold not buying that much. And he's like, Oh, and I think he says, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." Uh, do I have Nothing. a like? I mean, I would understand the relationship between the military and the mind flayers, right? Like, do they have any knowledge of of military rank, or are they separate from that? Tell tell us why you're asking, Rachel. Uh, because I want to, I want to be a big boss military man up to this, <laughs> to this uh, mind player. And, and why is that? Do you have a special ability that does I something? Do I have advantage us, on persuasion checks uh, on pulling rank on the clueless populace? Yeah, a- anyone who has, uh, who does not understand military rank, uh, you can then maybe lie and have advantage on, uh, against them. Mm. The 
You roll a history check with advantage. Okay. Because I want to decide if you get to know this information or if you have to just go for it without knowing. Uh, that's pretty good. 19 with history is 22. 22? You know the Mind Flayer's organization. Uh, you've seen it at some point. You've seen like the, the GIF military is so chaotic. Mm. But it is a shared language where, like, the chaos, you know, they, they are wild, but they all respect each other and they respect their order. And it is mm. so chaotic, but, but that chaos feeds into order where mind flayers are the opposite. They are mm. nothing but uh, take over, assimilate, etc. And everyone who is connected to them is all one voice. And so they have you are the opposite side of the spec in the four like political graph. You all are on the far different sides where you're both order, but uh, very mm. chaotic. So that okay. is a long way of saying, you know that they have no idea about military rank, but they do respect order. So okay. they, they are okay. a prime target for this. Um, Effie's Effie's gonna stand in her best military style. She's a little rusty, uh, so straight, straight, and and tall. And she's gonna try and uh, fix her sort of punk tattered military hat. Yep. <laughs> Be like, I'm pipe, I'm pipe major Euphemia Dunbar, and I'm taking this monster back to the military where it belongs. I have to take it up the rank and I have to report it to my supervisor and I cannot just go handing out monsters to men on the street. And that's why 10,000 gold is not enough. (laughs) Uh, Then I would love for you to roll a persuasion check or intimidation, whichever you'd prefer, with advantage. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to roll Intimidation. It is a 21. Oh boy. Um, I actually, I need to double check something here because this is a very close roll. So we're just going to uh, take a second for me to pull up the stats, which I thought I had pulled up for this Mind player, but I don't. So we're going to take a second for me to pull them up because with a 21, it's very close with what I rolled on the dice. So oh, I'm be, no. I'm going to be sure it is within the 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 three margin. Mm. Um, so depending on what uh, this modifier is, it, this could totally change the way this campaign ends. So I just want to be sure of it. Um, uh, while while I'm doing that, I am, because it feels appropriate, crunch, I'm just going to play crunch, some uh, bag cut yeah. music <laughs> as you yeah. stand up and... Uh, <laughs> You do this in front of saluting with a big meaty hippo hand. It's more of yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They don't have gif really meaty gif hand. Oh wow! wow. They can say right. right. (laughs) We're taking it back. Um. Okay. With that. Oh, sorry. My other bagpipe noise started to play, and I needed to I needed to cut that off because I need That's to save those for shit. combat. That's uh, the yeah, exactly. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, with that, you look at it, and it just kind of like floats there for a second, and it looks at you, and it has full black eyes, right? It's just like there's no pupils. There's no anything. It's just all black eyes, and it looks at you, and it's floating in there for a second. And great boy, you too, you're like, you're kind of seeing Effie. Uh, I don't know if you've even, I'm sure you've seen them do this sometimes before, but they seem like they kind of like mean it in this moment and it looks at you and it uh, kind of like floats away and it's like it floats back and it's like okay um, uh, okay and it says I understand that you are doing your jobs here but so in order you know it is, seems like it would it would uh be a big emotional strain on you for you to give this creature up. So I'm saying to you, you should be paid for that, for your time and for your emotional suffering. So I'm happy to make it 50,000 gold. <laughs> and they they pull, uh, and they kind of like pull a big sack out of their ropes. Big wad of gold. Yeah, just like a huge, like this, like huge, like it's like kind of like strapped to their back, and it's like very heavy, and it pulls it out. One of those ball things with the crosses coming out of it that you see in treasure piles. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's pretty. That's a lot of. Kablingi. That's. Yeah, and you can just hand over the flump and walk away, and you all are fine. The, the, everything is fine here. I don't think you heard us, bro. She's going to take it back to the GIF military. And they don't mess around. Maybe once they've looked at it, you can have a look at whatever's left, but you know that's our job, so. So you're telling me that if I take this from you here, then I will be breaking, uh, I will be making an infraction upon all of the GIF military. And I kind of look questioningly at. <laughs> yeah, it's you're interfering in a hostage situation with all of the GIF military. They will. They've got Who is me upset. Ships. Who Dude. is your commanding officer? What a good question. Do I like? Can I? Can I think of a name of of like a somebody I used to know in the military? Out of, say, out of game, I will say you can make up a name mm-hmm. and it <laughs> it can be a real name. Admiral so Rodolphus You, Rachel, Chungus. can make up a name and it can be a real name Yeah, in the game. You were actually in the military. I just want, I just want yeah, you to yeah, make I it was. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah, it would so be, you know, be a like, people. I know a guy. I know, like, I know, the, I yeah. know the lead singer of this band and you would know yeah. the lead singer of the band. That doesn't mean you know them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you probably never heard of him. It's uh, <laughs> it's a really obscure commander. Really yeah, early jam core. Hey. Pipe pipe major Alfonso Hammerstein. Hammerstein. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> wonderful. And then I need you to roll. Then, yeah. as I am going to cast a spell here. Where is this uh, goddamn surfboard? <laughs> right. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> Stuck in traffic on the way here. I, I will up say, kid. It can, at, from this point on, from after after I do we do this dice roll, it can show up at any time that you want because you can kind of feel it okay. uh, hurtling toward you. And uh, Gray Boy, you can have it show up at any time after this roll. And so cool. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, I did roll well, but I have a terrible modifier. I do have ability. That's an ability check. That's not that. Okay. Sorry, I got new toys and don't no, no, know how right. to I, use I, I, I'll, them. I'll tell you too. The, the persuasion roll definitely worked, or the deception yeah, roll definitely yeah. worked, because it, it seems to have like slowed down. It was just going to murk you mm, if yeah. you didn't do this. And so now it's like, wait, it realized that like it's having to deal with like larger political things, so it's being a little bit delicate, but it yeah. doesn't really trust you wholesale for this. So it's, Fair. It, I'm wearing a needed to cast a spell uniform. For this. Uh, 18 on the wisdom save. The DC was 15, and That's so you right. can feel... Minus one modifier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. And so the the uh, you don't necessarily feel the presence of this thing in your mind, but you know enough about mind flayers to know they have some sort of telepathic ability. Um, and you can kind of like, as it's looking at you and its tentacles are flowing in front of your mouth, you can kind of like feel it on the edges of your mind, just like... Uh, like like you were hooked up to a lie detector almost, and yeah. you're sweating. She kind but of adjusts her hat, just just it, like out of instinct. Exactly. Yeah, and it's like it's like picking up your anxiety, but it doesn't get far enough in there to know whether or not you're telling the truth. It just knows that you're worried about the situation, which could be that you're worried about rank and file mm-hmm. uh, and, and sorts, and so. Uh, a thing we do often is often flute cast this in our usual game and he uh, he's cast detect thoughts and you get surface thoughts versus mm-hmm. like deeper thoughts so I would love for you to tell us what the surface thoughts that it gets from you are which aren't isn't giving anything away but it gets surface thoughts so get, just give us that flavor of what it picks up she's she's definitely just flashing through memories in the military especially of the pipe major that was her commanding officer when she was in the military and was just like god what was his last name uh, um but that's uh 
it's it, like her getting yelled at by her pipe major would have been the first thing that she that she thinks of. So pipe major in the gift military, as I've just made up right now, is yep. uh, they're they're a band of of bagpipe playing gifts. Uh, but as many gifts, uh, as as most of the uh, squadrons of gifts are, they're also equipped with heavily armed rifles. Uh, which are their bagpipes. So it's not just a musical, uh, it's not just a musical squad. It's also sort of a long range sniper squad. I love it. War. Yeah. And you, you have these like flashbacks to memories of your pipe major, like yelling at you. Like if you don't follow orders here, I'm going to mash you up with my huge flat teeth. Um, (laughs) and, uh, um, yeah. And, and you're, you're just kind of like cycling through knowing that like, uh, these mind flares can pick up to, on telekinetic thoughts here, like trying to poker face them a little bit. Mm. And then it looks at you and it says, I know pipe major Hammerstein. And I will go speak to them. And it says, you can do your duty here. And, um, but I will go straight to the source of my gift contact. So yeah, it well. says, it looks at you and says, you better be telling the truth, because if not, the colony will find you. Yeah, you're the mind flayer. You would know, so. I would know. Yeah. It looks at you. You there would. There what? There? <laughs> you didn't? I'm just and, kidding. And, <laughs> and, it, and it will, with that, it will float off into the distance. <laughs> it kind of like, just like, uh, floats past by you and as it goes by it goes Phew, and like flicks its tentacles at you just kind of like a, yeah, yeah it's just like sweat slides off she doesn't have any hair to hold it uh, just slides that guy's got uh, 50,000 gold in cash we're not mugging a mind flayer let's get out of here it's just him and us should we I I'm mean in. I'm surprised I'm surprised uh, Grey Boy didn't take that deal um, I, well I, yeah. He's been a friend to us. <laughs> Friendship's yeah. worth way more than fifty thousand gold. Actually, I Mind think are the worst. Yeah, g- yeah. give Sick it to it, give it to us a little bit, Aaron. Like, why didn't Gray Boy take this deal? It feels like it's it, it feels like you have a reason, but not you know it's not obvious for who you are as a character. So, give give it to us. Why isn't he taking this deal? Because fuck them. They want to they want to take over the rock. They don't get to own the rock. We own the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody owns the rock. <laughs> right. Damn. Um, All right. Hell yeah. Let's Bar- go. Bar- Bar- awesome. going to turn to these guys and he's going to go. I'm so proud of both of you. At the end there, when he said, you can stay here and do your duty. Nobody laughed. And that took <laughs> everything. <laughs> Everything. I'm proud of you. Also, I figured that uh, he would just kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm shocked. We're not dead. God. Oh yeah, uh, let's where... get the hell out of here. Yeah, can yeah, we get on the way You're not gonna get in here? trouble with your. No, that's you. Not in the military anymore. Okay. No. Uh, uh, let's... We do have to leave like soon. Let's and go right now. Yeah, I will like, call yeah. the. Uh, I will call the. Um... Star Tilda. Mm-hmm. Star Tilda. Oh, yeah. Uh... It, it... <laughs> It just like shows it like, like so again like you, you all know that you all have um, put off um, uh, any sort of consequences here, but it is it, it is very clear you all know um, Femi well enough to know uh, or Effie. Wait, what it, Effie? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in college whose name was Femi, and it, would, it just <laughs> my brain switched there. Um, uh, uh, you know Effie well enough to know that like they were lying there, and so this mind player is going to float off, find its contact, and then f- know that you all are lying yeah. and mm-hmm. knows exactly where you are. So you all are heading toward uh, Fisty Dock, which you For know sure. um, where uh, the uh, Captain Knight of the Light is. And uh, right as the mind player kind of like comes around the corner, Bart Mondo, you see this legendary star jammer. Uh, a surf jammer board just f- like break through a brick wall <laughs> and fly in front of you, and um, just and like just like, <laughs> work on that. Yep, yep. Just, yeah, like just like pulls up gravity. <laughs> yeah, and it like uh, lowers down so that we can get on. And it's got you know how like 
Some cars have like the lights that shine down from the doors. Oh, ground effects? Absolutely. Yeah, it's got the ground effects and it says <laughs> Stark Start. Tilda. Like on stars. the ground underneath yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's written in like <laughs> in, in like speedboat. You know, like speedboat font. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's in like, full on yeah, like seventies like, yeah. cocaine <laughs> Miami. Yeah. It's like Full fucking. It looks like yeah. a Dan Marino jersey. Vaporwave, <laughs> yes. <laughs> looks like a pair yeah. of white denim G. The whole thing is white denim. Bart Bartomondo kind of kind of hesitates a moment, and he's like, "This is like the Holy Grail, you know." <gasps> Star Tilda, uh, and he grabs, finally grabs the uh, the rudder or where the sail would be, and it sings through his arms, you know, it was meant to be. And he says, I dub the Jamarella. <laughs> and the light on the bottom, it changes. It changes! It, it says Jamarella. <laughs> um, Wait, have you ever dreamed of before? I want to I canonically say that the music that is coming from this board changes with, with the owner that is uh, attuned to it. So please totally. tell us what Bart Mondo's music is. <laughs> oh, oh it's, li- it's like some real surf rock, like some... <laughs> but like lasers all over it, you know? Yeah. S- synth, surf synth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surf, synth is, surf exactly synth is the is. new genre that we've invented. Surf synth, yeah, incredible. Uh, Jason, are you watching? Surf yeah, wave yeah. synthoids. Um, surf okay, jam. yeah. And I think we just jam the hell out of here. I think it's like everything slows down and then we're just gone. Well, I will say you are at the cusp of the dock of where you know that uh, we're there instantaneously. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love. I say you take yeah, a very go. long way around to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, absolutely. Yeah. Hot dogging. Can we just like fly? Buildings. Can we just fly to the captain of the night of the lights ship? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know it. I mean, you you were at the cusp of this dock already, and it's it's a. Uh, you would know this dock. It, it, it's it's uh, called a uh, fisty fisty dock because uh, right. uh, literally it's shaped as like a hand, like wrapping around uh, a couple of different spelljammer ports, um, and it's supposed to sound like fisty cuffs, not the other thing. And um, <laughs> the uh, as you walk uh, through and up to it uh, on this like legendary on the board, side. it's. <laughs> Yeah, that's the D has been changed to a so. C for sure. It's crossed out. It's just a big fist yeah. symbol. Fisty. It's nice. Cock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a very run down part of an already uh, like lower uh, part of the city. And so... Uh, but th- so there's really one regal ship here. There's one mm-hmm. ship here that has it's like very well. Li- a lot of the, the spell gemmer ships in and around here are like pretty beat up and kind of like holding their shit close to their chest. It's like very well guarded, not well staffed uh, ships. But this one is a large, big, uh, like caravel looking spell jammer ship that has these big white sails um, uh, that have a sun emblazoned on them. Um, and are, are very well lit up and has staff kind of like coming in and off. It, it's docked too, where it's like set up where there's a couple of like tents outside of it. This is clearly a, um, like a home dock for the ship right now. And a lot of uh, things are going on. And the, um, as the ship, as the, the star or the surf jammer just like flies through it, carrying all three of you just like, woof, 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 uh, and lands on the deck here, you're immediately surrounded by like six or seven people in full ass plate armor, uh, uh, like holding spells and weapons. Yeah. And, the, and, uh, you see this large, um, uh, like you know, this large minotaur holding a glowing ax is like, who are you? Hi. Hello. We're, uh, uh, we're we're here to uh, see the captain of the night of the light on urgent saving the city business. All My name right, is Gray sure. Boy. You know, everybody's business is urgent these days. Your name's. He's like, why don't you just walk up? Why'd you fly in here? Oh my God, you talk so slow. We're in a huge hurry. We're, we have to see her because of uh, the mind fair plot to attack the city. You guys probably already know about that because you work for her, but. Uh, yeah, she's gonna want to meet with us, so 
please. We'll get in whatever line you want, the bread line, the pirate line, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> please. Effie, please. Effie will, should Effie will step the lines. Effie will step sort of around uh, Grey Boy and look at him in the eyes at his same height and be like, we just turned down $50,000 for the monster this entire city is looking for. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mind letting us through. She had to pull rank on a mind flare. An illithid. Uh, you all can um, both roll persuasion checks here. I should have lied. I'm so much better at lying than I am at telling the truth. Well, I oh, also wait, should do have I have a disadvantage? Rank. Because... Absol- absolutely. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I roll deception, uh, intimidation? That was what that was the role she was intending. Yeah, yeah. That's a nineteen. Oh, wow! That's better than, that's better than me. Roll a fourteen and a fifteen, so it's a nineteen. I was a fifteen. Cool. Uh, it looks. Uh, this Minotaur looks at you and goes, "Boys," and uh, all of them salute. And uh, one of the gnomes says. Like we've had this conversation, I feel good about the. the in the, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. We understand. You want to do this every time. The Minotaur says, uh, and like uh, pulls an axe out, and uh, oh. he's like, get them to them, and uh, you oh, all kind God. of like get lifted up a little, like they just grab the edges of Startilda and Whoa. start walking you down Whoa. below, and they're like, Place we have, cool. we have a, we have a code gold, we have a code easy, gold. Get them easy, down there, easy on the pay. <laughs> Uh, this is Effie kind of hates this and just slowly like, kind of shrinks down and holds onto the board a little bit <laughs> like it doesn't have strong balance I like this I like being carried um, I'm, I'd rather walk and you all are walked below by the, uh, this like armored uh, group of folks who you, you notice seem to have similar uh, armor. They seem to be part of like this, the same, a similar regime. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, they carry you down to the bottom and they quickly have trouble getting the board to the bottom of the stairs and they ask you to could've, step off, obviously. Yeah, we could have mm-hmm. just walked. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, they, they were trying to match your urgency as they realized yeah. they kind of fucked up a little bit. Thank you. And no, it's the, fine. Yeah, he, I mean, let's go, it. let's go. Yeah, the Minotaur says. And um, he gestures you down to what is clearly a captain's quarters and there are a few people like kind of like coming in and out. Um, and one of them like walks out holding like a pile of scrolls. And um, mm-hmm. as you um, don't mind if I pulled, do, <laughs> as you get pulled in, do you want to try and steal one? No. Okay. Uh, I was making as, a joke about eating one. Uh, <laughs> okay. um, as you all uh, get hurried to the front of what is clearly a line, and uh, uh, Gray Boy, you notice like a couple of like sort of important people here, like an important like maybe criminals, you know criminal-ish uh, folks here that are in line. They kind of see you ushered past, and uh, you get brought hey, into this captain. Flam. Hey, Nipples. Hey, what's up? Hey, Jar Jar. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta write this down. Flim Flam, Nipples, and Jar Jar. Um, <laughs> chat, somebody remind... Somebody put that in the Discord so I remember it later. Um, <laughs> Jar Jar is... Uh, he was in that movie. If I get killed by a character named Nipples, I will lose my mind. <laughs> 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 All right, so yeah. Oh God, or Jar Jar. Um, no way! I, I will never do the Jar Jar voice on this stream. Oh, um, and well, now I have a new goal. I saw, I saw Jeff. I saw Jeff Tice uh, do stand up for the first time, and he did. A, he had a joke about Jar Jar Binks being a racist character. Yeah. And I was in the audience, and I laughed so hard. And he he looks over and goes, "Harlan gets it." And I was like, "Oh, Jeff Tice! <laughs> yeah. Jeff Tice, everybody!" Oh uh, man. Anyway, um, so have you uh, heard the theory of Jar Jar being the most powerful dark Jedi of all? Yes, yes, I yeah. have. I was talking um, about this at lunch today. Wow! I I don't know what's happening right wheels now. Wheels within wheels, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This closure <laughs> on UFOs is coming any day. Any day. We all own Tom the Long an apology. Anyway, so as you get uh, pulled into this room, you see someone sitting there at the desk. And they're in full plate armor and have the visor down in front of them. They have a helmet that looks oh. like a sun. It has like uh, the sun coming off of it and has a face on it below. And Very as it's speaking, Elden the helmet Ray. is like magically talking back. Uh, it, it goes, who is this? What is happening here? And they're like, Captain, 
We have urgent message, and uh, I will leave it to you because I kind of want to hear what you present to this. Girl. Armando jumps in and goes, Golden "This armor. is Jamarella. I knew you'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> She's the prettiest one." <laughs> The tip of the surfboard is just sticking into the room as it doesn't yeah. quite fit, but is as like there's Jamarella, a couple of people go, still trying to get go it into upstairs, the room. Upstairs, Jamarella. <laughs> oh, it like breaks through the no, wood no, of the no, ship. No, 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 so, there's a mind flare plot to... Uh, I'm familiar, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, we have it on good authority that uh, the head of the Defense Armada... What's his name again? Um, uh, she looks at you. Captain Ortega. Captain, Captain Ortega or- is uh, mind... He's uh, controlled by the mind flares. And um, they're Squid. going to attack, and we're not going to do anything. Right. So... Um, she looks at you and goes, that's a, ser- that's a serious accusation. Do you have any proof of this? And, and as she says this, like the helmet is just like talking back at you. Um, I. Yeah, we Effie, do. I'll, I'll open the bag that contains Izix and be like, Izix, now's your moment, little man. Oh, no. Don't I, worry, buddy. If, they, if they're going to take you, they're going to have to take all of us. This they is, probably could, so. So this player, is the monster player. that everyone on the rock is after. We're, we're on your side, okay? The vibes are hot out here and not in a fun way. It's because they're all wearing plate armor all the time. <laughs> I can smell it. Yeah. Um, uh, That's and, crazy. And yeah, uh, Isix the Flump uh, crawls out of the uh, of one of Iffy's bags, like just kind of out of the uh bagpipe attachment all of these like gray and blue tentacles just pull it out and the it's two goofy looking eyes off of it um jordan your art for this flump is just incredible all the mm. time um oh it, thank you it pulls itself out and floats in front of um the captain and says it's true uh i used to be a um a bartender on one of the nautiloid ships and then uh but this group uh jumped on the ship and attacked it and took it as their own and then flow, you know, flew it straight on to Glyph and then they scuttled that ship and I got, uh, I was then, you know, kind of like ran off into the wilderness to just try and get away from everything that's happening but I was recaptured and then I heard, I heard it was, and as it, that, as that's happening, you can see uh, Isaac stop talking to you and just connect telepathically to this character and whoa, the whoa, captain, whoa, 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 out loud, out loud, out loud. <laughs> the captain flips up uh, the um, the face of the helmet here, and none of you all, none of your characters, I would say, immediately recognize them. But I would love to have all three of you roll history checks. Yeah, and I will. Uh, and this is for <gasps> if I am going Ooh. to tell you IRL if you know who this character is. I critted. I critted. I critted. I critted. I critted. All right, let's just hold it. Let's sell it. I got his stories. Stories. Effie, uh, examies. Not not quite. It's only it's only twenty. Examines. Twenty three. Examines is cute. Um, I want you to know. I want you to. This is a a very well known military figure who is known for protecting and um. Not just uh, like with military might, but with diplomacy, running a lot of the uh, political negotiations on Hakatha, the moon outside of Glyph, and mm. you would recognize them for whatever reason. I, w- I want you to tell the this the story here of why you would recognize this person. Mm-hmm. It can be for you know it can just be like reading about them in books, hearing about them, etc. Because mm-hmm. uh, I wouldn't say you they know who you are. That's for yeah. sure. But mm-hmm. you know who they are and. But before that, I will tell you, this is um, Talon's sister. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who is, is a, yeah. a paladin. Yeah. Yes. Um, we met her. Yeah. We did who is, a, who is associated with an, with an organization known as the Fourth Ring, who are right. famous for being a, se- a secret hidden organization that are interested in always protecting 
um, yeah. life on, in this universe, but also kind of known for being conspiracy theorists because they think that the world is going to end for a very specific reason, yeah. but they're also known as being altruistic. So Kind of uh, just, uh, yeah. anti-doomsday cult. Yeah. <laughs> they are... Uh, it is a, a nickname that her sister calls her is Nyx, which is kind of like a nickname that she does not like. That's mm-hmm. right. Is, she is also... It kind of like has gotten around that that is what she gets called. Go. Oh. So, yeah, I will leave that to you of kind of like why you know who this is. You're... You're Nyx. I, I, I've read all about you. I, I, have you read that book, Better Than Heroes? She slams her <laughs> hand on the ground and she goes, are you here to talk to me about the crew of the Dinger? Because if so, you will refer to me as Arabelle Nyx, not Nyx. She well, says... Uh, sorry, Captain... Uh, Ar- Arabelle Nix. I, I'm just a big fan of the comic books, and it's really fun. Um, and I, I've, I've heard all about you. I know all your stories. Um, but I, you're awesome. Whoa, I didn't know you were awesome. <laughs> That's <It's>, incredible. <laughs> what a coincidence! I'm awesome as well. Yeah, look. <laughs> this is I'm, amazing. I'm like such a fan. <laughs> Can you Man. sign my bagpipe? Absolute, wow. absolute, <laughs> absolute, absolute sign canon. Bagpipe? Absolute yeah. canon that someone in this world has created a comic book that is uh, telling the story yeah. of our oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flute is secretly publishing a graphic novel. <laughs> I, I like to think it's Lighthouse and it's a secret ghost uh, publishing company. Uh, <laughs> and they're making money. Incredible. Lighthouse oh, press. There's real ones out there. Let's go. <laughs> Being haunted by a lighthouse. <laughs> That's incredible. Our spectral, uh, our, our spectral bar. Uh, look, I can put, I can punch a human. Can I not publish a human? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is too deep. This is too far down the rabbit hole. It's good though. <laughs> Look, we um, we heard that um, we heard you are the only one who's trying to help. So she says, "Yes." We uh, uh, the mind, some mind flayer came up to us on the street and offered us a fortune, fifty but, grand uh, for the secrets that just this little guy holds. I fifty large. She says that must. She looks at you and says, that must mean the timing of this is very important because to mind flayers, to the colony, um, uh, money is uh, merely a tool to manipulate people into the eventuality that they believe that they hold. And she says back to you, that, which means that the timing of this is not very important. She says, I believe you and I believe Isix. And she uh, looks back at you and says, you're telling the truth, yes? And Isix goes, ah! And she goes, I knew it. And uh, she looks back at um, you and, and she says, that means I need to get him off of here. And I know that the people that he needs to speak to, she says, I will leave people with you. Um, she says, do you wish to come with me? Uh, she says, or do you wish to stay here and um, slow them going? down? Where are you she going? Says, she's kind of like whistling and pointing off. She says, I'm going to take this ship uh, to the front doors of the, the Rock of Brawls armada because if there are if, if their military has been corrupted not all of them have been corrupted and I need to get as many of them to my side as I possibly can to our side as I possibly can so I'm going to take Isaacs to the front doorstep of the armada mm. and, and she uh, says cool don't tell Isaacs that <laughs> they will be uh, very nervous <laughs> uh, all of their tentacles are just like uh, there's like this weird gaseous ink that is coming out of them and they're like oh no before we got here Next time, tell us, and we'll stop. Uh, and so, what's the other option besides doing that? Is staying here and uh, stopping Slowing whose advance? The mind yeah. flares? Yeah, because she's just. It, it, I mean, timing is clearly crucial. Because I would like to come with you, please. Yeah, Can yeah. You help me get this ship over to the front gates. I, uh, I don't want to uh, fight mind flares. Well, we're going to be I'm fighting good. mind flayers either way. I promise you that. With you? So either, you, you know, I mean, uh, your choice. She says, uh, and she's like giving directions to people as this is happening. She's like, clearly the timing is crucial. So I need to get this flump to the gates um, of the Rock of Brawls Armada. So either 
you were going to help me fight Mind Flayers at the gates, or you're going to help me fight them, or you're going to slow the Mind Flayer down who's going to give them the information that is going to cause them to trigger the trap, their own trap. So you can either help me get this information through, or you can help me slow down the Mind Flayers getting this information. What do you guys think? Uh, so you want to fight on a ship, or do you want to fight on that, that dock back there? Uh, mm, ship. Ship. Also, Jesus it sounds Lord. like I'm good at like talking and tactical yeah, stuff. We're level I'm not two. Not really like. Armando's good at fighting. I can I fight gun. certain things. I'm a pretty good shot with this, and I pull out my dinky little short bow out of my pants. Yeah, Jeez. we're more the back. We're more brawlers. I don't know if we're revolutionaries. We were we were just kind of trying be. to. I could be a revolutionary. She's uh, both talking to uh-huh. multiple people who are entering and exiting the room as she's talking to you, and she's like, uh, do you have any suggestions? Um, and she's like, because this ship's going to take off soon. Um, and she looks at you and goes, Isix, you're staying with me. Let's jam. Uh, yeah, let's jam. I mean, we could be like, a, I'm sneaky. I could sneak somewhere. Some ways you need snuck. My place is on the battlefield. I'll, I'll I'll follow whatever they want to do, I'm, uh, but I'm better from a distance. If you need any sort of non-traditional warfare type stuff done, I'd probably be your guy for that. But uh, she's like, if all, uh, she's like, if we had more time, I would ask you to just hand me a piece of paper that had all of your abilities on it. But for right now, <laughs> she says we need to move. And I think with uh, that, uh, she's like, you're staying here. You're staying with him. You're guarding jam. him. Uh, she says, pointing to Izix, and uh, there is, uh, you can feel the ship starting to take off. Um, Hell yeah. Yes. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. our guy. All right. Cool. Should have taken the money. I'm just kidding. Great. All <laughs> right. Well, with that, you feel the ship taking off from this dock, and we're going to cut to break here to set up this final fight. 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 We're going to take a quick fight. five minute break here where we drink, pee, and we'll see you here in just five minutes uh, to finish up this. Whoa, excuse me, mini series. All right, get us out of your case.
Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd try it. I don't know. It seemed fun. I, I like brown hair, so I figured I could pull it off. I don't know. No one really asks. <laughs> you say you're celebrating Hanukkah. Yeah, what is this going to do? It? Really? You know, it's like I'm now that I'm living in Hollywood. Like you know, I, I just thought I would. When in Rome. Yeah. Holy shit! When, when no, to do is do is the Jewish do is the Jewish do do is the Jewish do do is the Jewish and bring us in do, do, do is the do. Jewish Roman oh, God. <laughs> 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 Kate, Kate, when I when I put out the podcast episodes the main work I have to do on it besides like the main <laughs> thing I have to do besides like putting compression and gates on it mm-hmm. is finding the break in the ending and yeah. there's so many moments that have just made me like like cackle of like his <laughs> right. is in in a certain conversation yeah. like this is so funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah okay cool yeah I'm ready right, whatever um one, two, three, Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we do at synagogue. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, and then, one, two, one, three, two, Jewish. <laughs> I saw Aaron the other day and I said, Happy Hanukkah. And I put both of my hands up like it was some sort of H sign that I do. Yeah. <laughs> This Try is just one. <laughs> uh, Try one. Straighten it out. <laughs> That's the first thing they teach you in the class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. You've passed the test. <laughs> yeah, this is sign language for Jewish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not. That's. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there it is. Now that's I'm sign sure. language. I'm sure there is. Yeah. I wonder what it is. But I, I love sign language. Sign anyway, language? I, you don't want to know what it is. Yeah, it's, it's sign language is it's weird. Not cool. Sign language is weirdly really? is yeah, weirdly it's, backwards it's in a lot upsetting, of ways. Actually, actually, yeah, the sign okay, language. Okay, let's not talk I mean, about they it. May, they may have yeah, changed yeah. it or like modernized it, but it used to be. I can give you an example that that's okay. kind of light. No, no, let's not do it. Don't tell me. Yeah. So we. What is that? That's Italian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double mustache. Look it up. As we all know. No, I believe you. I'm not questioning. Uh, that, was, that was for the chat. <laughs> okay. So, um, you all, your crew, you feel the ship um, like t- take off here, and uh, <laughs> just solve another one. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Uh, man, focus. <laughs> I would love to see someone sign D and D though, because I bet like, right? Ooh. Like, what is t- like mind flare? Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> it, yeah. it, it's this way is mind flare, and then this way is beholder. There you go. Um, or, no, this way is beholder. Oh, no, this yeah, way, yeah, yeah. Toy. Yeah. I was thinking, and then it's gotta be this is this. I think this is literally moose. I no, think this, 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 this is, is yeah. This, this is, is deer. moose. Yeah, yeah. Deer. Yeah, moose? there's like no moose. There's... No, this is something else. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's my player. Yeah, yeah. Mind I used player. to, I used to take sign language classes when I was like a kid. It was like a thing mm. I was like interested in when I was a child, and uh, then stopped doing it. But I just always remember reindeer being like, or like deer being fun to do. I know. Yeah. Uh, I change <laughs> ghost diapers. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Can you not change a ghost diaper? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back on. And we're yeah, back. Seriously okay. landed. Thank you. I can punch a ghost. Can I not shit a ghost change. pants? Can I <laughs> not change his diaper? <laughs> uh, okay. So you all are inside of the ship and you feel it take off from the edge of the, the docks here. And you're kind of like looking around because clearly this this captain's room that you all are in, this like large desk, um, that um, uh, the someone who has been referred to as the captain, Arabella Nix, uh, she's clearly not spell jamming the helm, but she is like talking to you all and she goes, uh, you know, if this is the way that you say it is, she's like, we've been looking for a linchpin like this, uh, something to be able to prove to the city itself that um, mm. things have gone awry because we know that the colony is a part of the um, the cat- this cataclysmic event um, that is the, the you know the the fourth ring believes in. Um, she kind of like and kind of look, looks at you a little bit to see if um, you have any reaction to that. And I would be interested a little bit to know how each character feels about the the fourth ring. And you can kind of make it up if you want to because I'm sure that's not something we've talked about or. You know that you all, as people, have too much information about. But uh, 
she is kind of like clearly announcing that she is a part of the fourth ring. So what's your, <clears throat> what's your, re- what, what does she read you with? You guys hiring? <laughs> Always. Yeah. You need yeah. anyone who's like, uh, how do I, what's the best way to say this? A liar. You guys need any, what's that? A liar. Yeah. You need any, yeah. You guys need like a scumbag. <laughs> Um, or I mean, yeah, she, look, she she looks at you. She's like, we I always need we people who need are liars. Li- we always need people who are willing to uh, understand uh, when it's time to tell the truth and when it's not. Right. Um, I think I, I think, have a pretty good understanding about that. I think vague, the, the Effie is vaguely uncomfortable with it. She just kind of she kind of squirms and prefers to treat them as a. <laughs> comic book cult um, sure. that she's read mm-hmm. about and is sort of just like a fictional thing and it's uh, yeah. I was on Twitter she, it's in not something I understand yeah. yeah it's not something that she can cons- uh, confronts directly very often she tries to keep things very pa- apolitical and very like mm. just in front of her face and uh, Midwest nice yeah exactly she's like I just don't think about that kind of stuff it's not mm. nice yeah it's uh, it's yeah. messy yeah, inside you can hear inside of her head as politics getting st- start getting talked about. You just hear like inside of her head this sound is being. Played. Um, um, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to make sure to do that. Okay, and so as you all, um, she keeps going, and she's like, "Yeah, we always need more people here," but. Um, she says, "So you can continue on on this ship if you want to," and she nods. And then is going to look over and um, uh, kind of like look at the door as the the ship like bumps a little bit. And she goes, all right, well, they're going quickly. You know, they're trying to get to the gates. And she said, "I'm. Um, we have been trying to convince the people here that the, because we know what the colony is. We know their eventual plan always is to take over everything. And so, especially with this, you know, it's n- it's not, the crew of the Dinger's fault, she says, kind of gesturing to you that these world events happened because they were going to happen. You know, the mind players were going to make their move anyway. They're just the reason that they're using. And she's like talking to you all quickly and it, it like kind of doesn't make any sense as she's, yeah, I don't know who that seems, is. seems distracted as well. And she's like, but um, she's like, the important thing is that we get this flump in front of and as much as the uh, of the armada of of the Rock of Brawl as we can. Because if their leadership is compromised, we need to convince the men on the ground that they need to move, and they need to move ahead of the mind flayers. So we're going to get this ship at their gates, um, and until convince then, convince the men. The women and, and are until, already on board. <laughs> and until then, uh, and as she's like talking, the ship kind of like shakes and rumbles again, um, and uh, you you hear just like the sound of an explosion. Uh, up ahead out of, in front of you and you see her wince and she's like look the most important thing is that we keep Isix alive because Isix you can tell people what you feel right and you see Isix just like trembling there and it's like if there's one thing I can do it's that and um, uh, she looks back at you and she's like then keep Isix alive mm. and you got any guns or invisibility potions Invisible guns. She says, yes, and I need them all. Uh, She says, take Isix and hide him. Um, And she kicks open a door that you did not see before. That's like a little hatch into a side room. And she's like, take Isix and keep him away from everyone. All right. Um, I'll put him in a bag and we'll hide in your mouth. We'll hide in the hippo um, mouth. Look, you don't think you can help us maybe? (laughs) A little bit? And with that, she leaves. She leaves the room as you're Fuck starting to, to say that. Oh, she was so cool, right? I didn't even imagine the helmet thing. That's new. She was like, so Must busy. be in a future book. I didn't even realize. What? Usually, uh, but but there is this small hatch, like kind of like open to a store. There are other awesome in people in the room. I can tell, but I had no idea. Look. Yeah. It's only specific cir- circles really know the story. It's more of a cult classic than anything, but it's a really good comic book. You should check it out. It's also a Go podcast. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, Why so are you in front looking of you, into the camera? <laughs> so in front of you, you see this small door that's like leaving it in, into what is clearly a sto- storage space and floating inside of that room. The only light in the room is uh, Star Tilda, uh, formerly known as Star Tilda. Uh, what's her new name? Jamarella. Jamarella. Yeah, Jamarella is like floating in this like cargo uh, room that has a bunch of crates and like an open door in front of it. All right, well. And if you'd like to open your roll 20, you can see the room that you yeah. all are inside of as well, in case if you want to throw it up. And okay, uh, well. you hear another like boom and shake as you know the ship is quickly moving um, and is clearly engaged in some sort of combat out front. Okay. Yikes. Well, all we have to do is protect Izix. We can do that. We've been mm-hmm. protecting Izix for like 18 hours now. Right. We'll do it. Where will, We just have to protect him here. We just have to stay here. I, Armando is just kind of wandering off. Whoa, where are you going? Stay. We're, we're going to protect Izix here. Well, I know. That, just that, that was take our. Take a look uh, in this room over here. That's what Nick orders, said. Yeah. Right? Arabella said. Arabella, Nix, right? Just. I. You. Can you hide him, them somewhere? Oh, I just you're better at hiding them. Just. I could just, just take him and we could hide. I'm very yeah. small and stealthy. Yeah, but we sort of need you, you know, like just in case it gets messy down here. Right. I just. Yeah. All right. Us hiding would be bad. Um, as you all are, are discussing this, you hear a, um, like uh, running footsteps, just like boom, 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 like like like. Yeah. They're like uh, immediately toward you, and you, you can tell that something is rounding the corner and uh, like about to run through. And you, in fact, you see a shape, just like like a, this small shape, like just sprinting toward you all. Can I uh, uh, quickly hide in the shadows? Yeah, absolutely. Roll a uh, uh, roll a um, a stealth check. Almost said a, a, a match, baby. Whoa! Uh, yeah, you were Gonzo. I would like to snag Izix and just hide behind a, a, the stack of boxes. Sure. Roll. Can you also roll a stealth check? Sure can. 16. Great. Um, and then, uh, Barbado, what are you doing? Stand my ground. Standing out in the open? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's have you, uh, just you, roll initiative. Okay. Uh, I cannot move Izix. On the on the thing, uh, you're about to be able to. Hey, look at that! No, you can. It's a nineteen. I'm looking and stuff. I'm just a nineteen. Okay, cool. You get I... to go first. This uh, small shadowy form is running toward you. Um, can I breathing see... very heavily? Can I see anything about them? You can roll a perception check with disadvantage. Hmm. Sixteen. Um, uh, it is a creature that is ready for combat and is running toward you all, but it is very small. And so it's definitely a small, not the, not a mind flayer, nothing like that. It's a very small creature. So I'm, I'm leaving that up to you on what you want to do with that. I am going to use a bonus action. Hmm? To enter a rage, and I slam my my uh, trident on the ground, and like a little wave kind of splashes up at his feet, and he says, "My name is Bart Mondo. I walk the path of the of the land shark. None shall pass. Announce yourself." And I'm going to hold the attack action and go. Ha! What <laughs> what what is the trigger for the attack action? Uh, when they show themselves to be aggressive toward me, if they swing and attack at me, okay, I'm going cool. to uh, attack them right back. Wonderful. I really tried to troll you all into attacking this creature as out yeah. of uh, out of the darkness um, uh, it comes running toward you. And he goes, Bart Mondo! And he's like, oh good, I'm in the right place! And you see uh, <laughs> the dread 
pirate, uh, the, the, the bread pirate dog burp uh, comes <laughs> running into this room. And he goes, I've been following you all this whole time. I just wanted to be with you. He's like, I couldn't let go. I needed to be here. And I told you, Jordan, at the end of last week that I would absolutely let this wow. character be a part of the combat that you all had at the final, <laughs> yeah. of that final of this. If you did the art for it, so Case, if you could throw up the art for yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, amazing yeah. art. I will show you Roll all. 20. Yes, please. Um, uh, yeah, yes. so you all yes. will be able to see it yes. in Roll20 in just a second here, as you all can see it there yeah. as well. It is <laughs> incredible. I showed this to my wife, Sarah, and she was like, oh, cool. So Jordan drew you, the flump, and then drew our dog <laughs> in the next week. This is our dog. Uh, the just holstered a roll, a rolling pin is very yes. cute. Oh, very very good. Good. In absolutely. My wildest dreams have, have come true here, Jordan. Thank you so much for this. Uh, it is hat. truly a marvel to me in, our, in all of the best than heroes games that we get to <laughs> make up fictional characters and then you just bring them to life so uh you you, so you brought so, them to life i just yeah i just made the picture but thank whatever you. whatever magical wavelength you and i are on of me saying wild ass shit about characters and you drawing wild ass <laughs> shit is just like it's true mind meld uh right it was there, a so. hat you described that yeah. hat so deliciously will, uh, yeah i will emerge and go up to him and say dog burp uh, ah! I'll, give him a, I'll give him a little whack and I'll be like, don't you know it's dangerous? He says, I do. A, and then I'll I give needed him a to hug. prove my love. And then I give <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> we haven't even gone out. Okay. All right. Anyway, I give him a hug. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm not worried about it. He says, Gob he goes, life is short, especially for goblins. And he says, and so I am uninterested in any uh, hesitation about any strong feeling that I have. And so I am here to tell you that I love you like I love bread. In the morning, the goblins not in live the long afternoon, time. and in the evening. Oh, my God. Uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> and uh, you look over and you see that Bart Mondo is still in his rage. He's crying just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when he's in his rage because he's kind of, he kind of shimmers with this weird fish skin. Like you see that like every once in a while it's like and you see like like mm -hmm. a weird kind of slippery skin. And he goes, oh, it was beautiful. And then he drops the rage and he because he always barfs when he drops the rage. Incredible. That wasn't yeah, me, was guys. That was, this is something else. Girl. Do you... Do you take a point of exhaustion when you exit a ridge? I can't remember uh, if that's accurate no, or not. But, I, but you did succeed in wasting one of my rages. So. Mm -hmm. Well, what I was I going to do was uh, I was going to I was going to uh, smack him, not dog yeah, bird, yeah, yeah. but uh, Barmondo, because don't you need to take damage or, or whatever? No, I can end my rage as a bonus action. Oh, okay, never oh, mind. But, but if you, you want to maintain it. it, you can just get hit by... Uh, I was just going to whack you. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I can just keep it on for a minute. Yeah, just keep it on. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm raging. Keep I like it, it when you for rage. one minute. <laughs> uh, uh, can, you, um, can you roll an Smack attack him. roll against him? <laughs> 21. Cool. You, you hit him for one point of damage. Which is oh. half, so you take no points of damage. Yeah. Oh. Slap me in the face, gray boy. No, no. Slap me in the face. He yeah, says, so. slap me in the face, and I punch him in the stomach. Oh. <laughs> I think spe but specifically because rage halves um, melee, like, like, you know, uh, non-magical yeah. damage like this, and you need to take uh, uh, like damage in order to maintain the rage, I think I will let this break the rules where you get to keep this rage on. Don't. Don't. And um, you got a wicked rage on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, you also take no damage. So if you would have taken okay. anything over than two, I would have taken at least oh! one damage. From you. But when you hit um, him, it's like his eyes go black for a second. It's weird. I'm and, sorry. Uh, Doll's and, eyes. As this uh, as this happens, you see a creature step down, uh, step around the corner, and walk into this storage space where you all are, and it is uh, running toward you as well, but kind of like staggers into this room, and you just hear go. I help, help. I step in front of Dog Burp, and then move Dog Bar, Dog Burp, and then I move both of us behind Bartmondo. 
his name was Dread Block. Pirate. Dread Block. Pirate. Block. Um, you you all are welcome to move your tokens around, and I will say you you now have control of Izix and uh, soon the Dread Pirate. So I would say feel free to arrange yourselves as you think you are. Um, Effie's very nervous and is keeping is just keeping Izix, but like where she can see them and uh, is is prepping and cleaning her bagpipes as quickly as possible, which also means badly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as, yeah, there's there's uh, a, lot, a lot of honks and hooting. Yeah, as you're Effie doing. canonically hates uh, violence and, and warfare and uh, doesn't oh. make her feel particularly well. It's true. Uh, and you all, um, then Bart Mondo, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bart Mondo's kind of moving up to the front. Yeah, uh, Grey Boy, you can also roll a perception check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That's a 10. Ooh, all right. Um... Perception. What the hell? 21. What was that? Um, Barmondo, you see a wounded soldier of um, Arabelle next here. Uh, you know, th- this armor that is clearly of this ship, um, a mem- like, like a, a well armored member of the crew has come down and they look very wounded. They're like bleeding from a couple of places and they come down on the ship and they're um, they're like kind of staggering forward and they're like, help, help and Grey Boy you quickly realize that this is um, a mind flayer infiltrated in some way member of the crew. Like you know, like from the the bashing that the ship is getting and from what you have been told by the captain, this ship is going into deadly territory. And so uh, a clear mind flare tactic, as you have seen before, is to put things inside of people's brains. And so this is someone who has already been compromised in a He's zombie a brain movie. Slug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, no. He's not right. a person. He's a brain guy. And so with that, let's uh, let's roll initiative. Probably. Can I keep my initiative from last time? It ruled. Uh, nope. Damn it. Bad. Nine. Ah, uh, nuts. 23. Whoa. Thank you for letting me keep the rage, though. Hey, it's... Uh, thank you, Aaron. I pinch him. <laughs> Just pester him and so right. he stays in a rage. Mm-hmm. Great, great boy, you're definitely going first here. Nice. Shit. Um, Isix, and then... Uh, um, got an 18. And then, um, what did you get, uh, Effie? Nine. Bartmondo, 18. Yeah. 18. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, great boy, you're up first. What are you doing? I shoot him. My bow. Yeah, go for it. He's not yeah. kosher. That is a 17. 17 misses as he's wearing full plate armor. Fuck. Um, and I will use my new trait, Master of Tactics. I'll say, Bart Mondo. Try to get oh. around the armor, right? Uh, under the armor, uh, back <laughs> of the neck. And I will use as, as a bonus action, the help action to give you advantage on your Ooh. attack. Let's go. I love it. Yeah, so you miss and then give him instructions on how to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. That was <laughs> me showing you what not to do. Copy that. Great. Oh, it God. is Barmondo's turn now. Sir. Uh, yeah, Barmondo is going to run right up to this thing and smash it. Smash away? Smash that guy. He leaps into the air. Oh! <gasps> And uh, brings this trident down for... Does a 15 hit? No. A 15 does not hit, yeah. As it is How a very armored a... beam. 24. 24 does hit, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, kind of gets him right through the... Um, right through the old... Right now, like a little gap in the armor and sneaks this trident in there for come on come on 
four damage. Oh four no, damage. four, five, six because of my rage. Plus two damage. Uh, all right, that will do it here as Whoa, uh, th- wow. this, being, uh, this being is very armored with its body, but very wounded still too. So as it steps in, you see this thing, uh, like uh, an imitation of a crew member here is like stepping forward and um, uh, it g- give us a little flavor on you just like downing this, this dude. Jordan, you have a little flavor uh, for Bartmondo just like crushing this dude? Sorry, I lost all of that uh, audio there. But no, 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 yes, okay. I do. Uh, <laughs> I, it, it I think right in this gap, right like you said, uh, uh, Grey Boy, uh, where the neck meets, where the he- the helmet meets the neck of the, of the armor and kind of squirrels this trident right up in there and with a twist and a stab, you hear it kind of widen one of these little loops in the armor and squeak, squeak, and then it comes out of the back of the helmet. And That's he why you wear a gorget. And the ground and pulls his, puts his foot on it and, and pulls it back out. Kind of swirls it to get the blood off and catches it again. Oh my god. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Um, From so- behind the boxes you hear Effie just uh, stifling the vomit <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I won't make you roll for it. But you just she have that didn't gag do reflux. it, but yeah. she's definitely <laughs> affected. Um, so, uh, Barmondo, what? Um, uh, can you also roll a perception check? Absolutely. Thank you. And now, Barmondo would be looking specifically for brains to come crawling out because he's. Then you can roll with advantage, before. baby. Okay. Hey. And I think that's why he went for the head. Yeah. Uh, and if it, I mean, that's, that's fine if it, you know, I don't you wanna, know what I will let so that's, all that's of the damage 19, uh, the, uh, with your, that high perception check. And since you noted that I will let all of the damage that you did roll over into nice. damage on this next creature, Incre- because I incredible. am a nice and kind DM when we're playing. Wow. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's like, he sees it happening and gives it another like, Oh, Oh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you skewer it through the head, and you see this thing like it pulls itself out of this, um, you know, the ship member's ear. It just like rips open the skull, no. and it's like uh, hissing uh, psionically into your mind. It's just like at you, and it's uh, because you stabbed in the head too. It just like has to pull itself out of the ear, and it breaks apart the skull, but like slides itself against your blade too, and just like uh, comes out wounded. So it is going to take five points of your six point Amazing. damage because that creature only had one hit point left. Um, so it is coming in uh, wounded with uh, five hit points here. So that is going to then bring up um, Effie. It's now your turn. You hear F- Effie sort of whimpering from behind the boxes and she uh, pulls up and posts up on the on the top of the box and goes nope and fires a shot from her bagpipe guns. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. I have something for this. Let's calm down with the. Uh, I'm not sorry. I'm not stopping you from making the, the vocal noises. I just want <laughs> you to accent it with also. Yeah. As you I'm are attacking, this you. sound is playing. Good <laughs> gosh. Uh, she. It's a twenty-one to hit. Uh, twenty-one does hit. Um. Five and three is eight plus three is eleven. And you know what? Let's just use the astral spark. You can see the uh, the tip of her gun glint in the yeah. light, and it sort of shoots a little burst of white holy light from it, and deals an additional oh. plus two hor- uh, force damage. That's force amazing. damage. Force uh, damage. <laughs> for a total of thirteen damage. Oh, 13 damage uh, plus the five that was done to a bar- Mondo. It is still up, but uh, this bagpipe blast just like tears off a huge gooey chunk of the brains. And it's basically just like a, a frying pan like level of brain. Like it got like uh, topped off. It just like caught totally blasted off. And it's now just these four um, kind of like clawing legs and this a little bit brain of brain drugs. meat connect, uh, connecting the four legs here as it's crawling mm. toward Bartmondo. Um, <laughs> and so, kill it! 
she's be- she's no! behind the box, sort of sort of muttering, just trying to play a little like a tune to comfort her into her bagpipes. And as a bonus action, she'll use bardic inspiration on Bermondo. Let's nice. go! And you didn't kill it, so you don't have to roll a Constitution saving throw to see if you yeah. throw up or not. So that is uh, going to bring up um, the uh, bread pirate dog burp, who is going to go. Ah, ha, don't you touch my love and he's going to move over closer to it and he's going to cast eldritch blast is he a warlock? as he is a you warlock, warlock? <laughs> whoa <laughs> oh, <fuck yeah. laughs> to bread baby to bread okay um, that i understand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eldritch yeah. loaf Same. and he rolled a natural one so he's going to hit oh. Bartmondo as oh. he pulls out his french oh. loaf and he, you know, his French uh, baguette here and points it at uh, you, and he is going to shoot and miss terribly, as it seems like he has not seen combat in years. Oh. Um, and yeah. he is going it's kind to of a do turn off, honestly. Uh, four <laughs> points of damage to you, Bart Mondo, as he just like you just feel yourself oh, pounded oh, in the back of the head with a large loaf. Oh. <laughs> right the loaf. Um, Just pound and large loaf. Oh no! I'm so sorry. He says, "I'm so sorry." I, it's, he's like, "I've been in charge for so long oh, that I forget what it's like to be on the ground floor." Um, is that what you think we are? We're not on the ground floor. We're like level two. Yeah, that's we're true. Like, we're okay. We're doing our best. Uh, wow. That's we'll talk about bring- that on our date. So, what level are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like, where uh, are you in life? You know, that's going to bring up the uh, intellect devourer, the brain ever? with legs here, and the brain with legs is going to first scratch at your body uh, with a natural one here, Ooh, Barmando. You nice. know what? And I will, I will let you take a reaction <laughs> if you would like to use your reaction to attack it. I will let you, I'll give you an opportunity attack because it, um, because it rolled a natural one. So Absolutely. if you want to use an opportunity attack, you can. Absolutely. <laughs> Jumps to the side and uh, strikes back at this thing with a 22 to hit. 22 does hit. And he does 10 damage to it. Wow. Whoa. Okay, cool. Oh, that was huge. Huge, huge. I, I was not, I mean, incredible. So yeah. uh, with that, you're going to split this thing in half. Give us some flavor on how you defeat this thing. Yeah, he, and uh, I will say, actually, you know what? Sourdough. Uh, this is the moment where yeah. if you, uh, if you have a, a level three character sheet ready, you can level up here. Yeah, uh, with the defeat of this creature. So if you Absolutely. have that moment, g- give us this flavor as this is the like fourth one of these that you have destroyed. It is done. Uh, yeah. Okay. So a couple of things happen here, Art Mondo. Uh, ducks out of the way and uh, he lifts this thing up high and he goes My name is Bart Mondo of the Topanga I want the path of the land shark None shall pass And he thrusts this thing down into the creature and as you saw before this like spout of water fully envelops him this time blasts up around him and when it lands when it comes back down Bart Mondo has grown and transformed into a half dwarf, half tiger shark what? creature wearing sweet ripped board shorts. He has tiger stripes across his back and he walks the path of the land shark. Does he ever? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and he roars. Incredible. Did you just evolve? What happened? Oh, yeah. I don't know. This is pretty sweet, though. I feel like everything's enhanced. I am very hungry. I will (laughs) say. I always knew this day would come. I'm glad they said the house. Yeah, I was trained for it. You you knew this was going to happen? And you didn't, like... Is a puberty situation? Could have used, like, a... A little bit of a warning. Well, to be to be perfectly honest, I begin to doubt if I would ever reach level three. Mm, I'm but glad it didn't there. happen in the middle of the night or something. I know. Yeah. Just scare the that hell out of the neighbors. 
Um, while mean, you're all having this conversation, can all three of you roll perception checks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you look great. Six. Thank you. I well, feel awesome. Dirty 20s. I'm sorry, it is seven. Uh, that's a 16. Great. Um, cool. So, you, uh, uh, Gray Boy, you know for sure that there are other creatures in the room with you right now, but you don't know where they are. We're not alone. Like, as soon as this, like, uh, the silence comes between you, like, talking about um, Bart Mondo evolving, you, like, look around and you, you hear, like, a box knocked over, and there's, a, like, the ship is, like, shaking and gyrating at this point, and um, you know, it's very clear that a battle is happening outside, but also a couple of boxes get knocked over, not in congruence with the ship, moving Mm -hmm. you know like the ship like is obviously knocking boxes around but then there's a couple of like and you know there are things in the room with you yeah yeah uh can i whisper to isix it's like do you feel anybody anywhere in this nice smart uh it will uh isix is like yeah uh, let me check um He's like, oh no! He's like, they know where I am! Uh, he's like, but yes! And you know that through the cracks uh, in the side of the ship, three, he's like, they're, they're, they're small! They've all wiggled in! Uh, he says, they're trying to get to me! And you we see... We got wigglers! Uh, um, and you, Effie, uh, can see three of them. Um, actually, I will, I will say the whole crew can see them, but I, I, you know, I'll kind of call it by where you are on the map now with your vision. Wait. You see... No, Sorry. For it. They know exactly I, that Effie sees was, them because she screams bloody murder. I was going to ask if we could all, like, since we know they're, like, approaching, if we could all, like, go back to back. You know what I mean? Well, that I know we're sense. going straight into it, back into initiative okay. order here. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you see uh, three of these um, what look like silvery uh, slugs but they are not. They, they they aren't. They don't have like physical slug bodies. They are just uh, mucusy blobs that are wiggling their way toward you, like inchworms on the ground. And they uh, they have this like silver cord like uh, look to them as they are uh, moving like inchworms across the ground, and they're trying to get closer to you. Um, and so, uh, the dance yeah, uh, of the Genesis. Uh, that is going to uh, bring up, if we're jumping right back into the initiative order here, that's going to bring up uh, Gray Boy. Is Isix in the order somewhere? Yes. Did they go? Uh, yeah, he spent his natural one, one turn shrieking and using his uh, ability to see if, uh, to sensing people around here. Ah, got it. Okay. Yep. But that is uh, a great question, and I appreciate the reminder. I will, seeing one of these things, freak out and knock an arrow to my short bow and I will shoot what I assume is the only one that's actually visible to me. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Ah! Okay. 24. Uh, 24. Uh, 24 does hit. Absolutely. Nice. Can I sneak attack this guy? I guess not. You betcha. Yeah. I can. Okay. It doesn't know that you're attacking it. I don't care. It, okay. doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter. Yep. It's focused on one thing and one thing only. That's going to be 14 points of piercing damage. Oh, boy. That is going to explode this creature um, as it just, like, pops. Um, as you hit it with it, your crossbow bolt and it splatters across a crate next to it as the ship again, you hear yelling from uh, up top and uh, the uh, creature just pops in front of you and uh, you successfully delete the one that you can see. Uh, they're killable. Bart Mondo, I choose you. Uh, <laughs> and I will use Master of Tactics. <laughs> To give Bart Mondo on his ne- uh, advantage on his next attack. Uh, cool. It's going to uh, then bring up Bart Mondo. Great. Uh, Bart Mondo is going to leap on the nearest one. Um, so where is it? It's up behind the boxes, right? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're in a little bit of a hard to see spot for you. Um, but I will say, you know what's here? What? Startilda's floating around. Holy oh. moly! So and Startilda has a movement speed of sixty yes. feet. Oh my god! Okay, so uh, do it. Or- Armando is going to leap up, is going to whistle for Star Tilda, and in this sh- in this street shark form. I see, I say, see that, and press the button on the keys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, and uh, yeah, you, you to- for uh, just for the, the for the rest of this fight, you have control over uh, Bartmando's movement, which you can just agree with Jordan's movement. But if you ever want to change that, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. I would like to move up to this guy. <laughs> sure. And attack him. Uh, this nearest one. He kind of swoops around in an, uh, an ellipse and, and sort of hangs ten down on this thing. And uh, he's going to attack with one of his massive kind of clawed, finned hands. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's going to... So I get advantage... If I attack twice, would I get advantage on both of them? Yep. Does a 12 hit? 12 misses. Do you have a bardic okay. inspiration? As it's kind of a wily one. creature, and it's it like as soon as it sees the bar, uh, yeah, a 24 does hit. So yeah, it like the, the it's a little bit wily. So as you swoop around, it's like whoa, and it wiggles out of the way. But as yeah. since you're right next to it, you can just slash down on it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then he slashes again, real quick, faster than you've ever seen Bart Mondo move. He slashes forward, and you like with this thing with another 24 to hit mm-hmm. all right that's slash, you got three slash. attacks in there Shh. two of them, two of them. Yeah, yeah but i got to roll four it was times. advantage yeah. oh i see i see i see yeah, yeah, yeah. so the gotcha. first one does four damage the second one does slash slash eight damage so 12 total <laughs> Um, okay, cool. Uh, 12 is going to pop him into oblivion. So if you want to yeah. give us some flavor of uh, Bart Mondo uh, getting him, you can. I think it's kind of like he, he swoops down the, the back of this thing and rakes his claws down its back and back up. And while he's like so almost soaring away, its body just splits open and horrible sea cucumber guts disgorge onto the floor. Absolutely correct. Um, cool. <laughs> That's going to uh, bring up one of these creatures who's going to wiggle toward uh, you, Effie. Mm-hmm. Um, and is going to uh, throw a pseudopod at you as like an arm just forms out of this weird oozy creature and uh, <laughs> flicks and flies at you. Uh, and that is going to be a 24 to hit, which I believe hits. Oh, sure hits. Yeah. yeah, and you take five points of bludgeoning damage and Oof. two points of psychic damage here. Okay, five and two is seven. Okay. Uh, great, and it just kind of like wiggles in front of you with its weird silvery cord of a body. Um, and that is going to then bring up uh, you, Effie. Uh, yeah, this... Freaks Effie out. I I think she's just gonna grab Isix and run, and is gonna just take an opportunity attack. Cool. All right, um, yeah. So yeah, she she snatches Isix off the ground and stuffs him into uh into the bag. It says, "Sorry, buddy," and runs. Ah! Uh, if, you, if you want to use it, the disengage action to avoid the opportunity attack, you can. Um, I would like to shoot if I can get far enough away. So sure, I think yeah. I'm just, but I don't know. I'm also picking up Izix. So if you pick up Izix, you're going to have to move half of your movement speed. So you can't mm-hmm. get you can get far enough away to take your ranged attack without disadvantage. But you yeah. are only going to be able to move 15 feet away. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to get 30 feet up from this guy. I don't think. No. Um. Okay, I. She's definitely gonna take Isix. So let's uh, let, yeah, she's gonna snag Isix and run fifteen feet in, um, just to over here on the other side of the stop grabbing. It's, go- it's going to take the opportunity attack against yeah. Isix, and it rolled oh. a natural twenty. No oh, oh, shit. So oh. is it Isix is going to take fourteen points of damage. God. Um, 
and but he is still up. So <gasps> like this this ooze just like uh, like f- flings a huge hand out and like connects with Isaac's body, and you can just see he just starts like puking and crying at the same time. Oh my and he's man. like ah, and like a couple of tentacles fall off, and he's like I'm never going back. Um, but uh, you are able to pull him away. Okay. Um, alternatively, I am Horrible. going to use my action to cast healing word on Izix. She's oh, like, okay. oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And is like new to healing magic, but it's kind of just like squishes him, just kind of squishes him <laughs> down. There's like, okay, God of firearms. I know we're, this isn't our thing, but help me out. And uh, Effie glows with uh, a little bit of holy white light and restores, what is it, a D6? Less than that, healing Actually, word. and I just double-checked uh, his hit points. And so mm-hmm. I will say, just to change the flavor of this moment too, Isaacs does go down. As you pull oh. him away, This uh, he goes limp. And there's nothing weirder than this gelatinous tentacled creature just like falling unconscious in your hands. Uh, as he just like falls over and he's like, Whoa, and is totally out of it. But you do that same thing, kind of like praying over him, and you hear this bombastic, uh, low register voice um, say to you, "I am here for you, FD." And and as much as we like to explode things, we also like to explode people's hearts, but with love and healing. Um, and uh, Aaron, Aaron, would you say that back? I feel like you should be the voice of of the hippo Me? god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the of the hippo gun god. It's the yeah, gift yeah, yeah. god of firearms. <laughs> oh, okay. What does he talk like? Hmm. All right. Hey, Effie. Uh, I don't usually do this kind of thing, but uh, well, no one ever uh, prayed to meet it cast a healing spell before. <laughs> and uh, I just think that's really great <laughs> that you're getting out there and advancing the brand. and You know, things have been really hard in this industry uh, given okay, the current political climate. I have six climate. seconds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love a chatty god! Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. So glad Thank you. you. I'm sorry. I'm so glad you did the duster voice because that's why I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, man, this feels like that voice you did for the duster mm-hmm. intro, and it is. It, thank He's you for one. doing exactly that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you <laughs> new, heal this. And, and Isaac comes cannon. back up. Yeah, Isaac comes back up. Uh, it heals eight. Okay, cool. Yeah, it has eight of its four of his four or their fourteen hit points. Um, and I will tuck them safely back in their pouch, and it's like, shh. Cool. <laughs> I like uh, this. <laughs> That's going to uh, <laughs> uh, that's going to then bring up um, from there. Uh, that's Effie's turn. That is going to bring up um, Dog Burp, um, who's going to try. Come on, Dog Burp. He's gonna. I know. He's like. I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm warmed up. He says, and he's gonna I move. Swear in, to God. He's gonna move into range here and take a shot. Ooh, he is definitely going to hit. Nice. Oh, now with it, he, I swan to John, bro. Got a guy. Uh, so he holds his baguette and scoo, uh, shoots out from it. And uh, this blast of fragrant, kind flavors just overwhelms uh, this droplet of psionic evil ooze. And it splits in half. And one of the half just withers and turns into what looks like an overbaked bagel. And the other half is still squelching toward you. So it does seem to have do- done damage to the ooze, but not enough to kill it. And he's like, I'm Thanks. back. I'm back, baby. Um, Good job. And that's going to bring up Izix's turn, oh, who he's uh, going to cower healing. inside of your uh, bag. I, healing word is a bonus action. I for, just thought it was it's an true. action. Can I sh- shoot? <laughs> yeah, as long as it's disadvantage. Not a Yep. It's not a yeah. Uh, I I'm gonna fire a gun at this thing. It is a why, disadvantage. Why is it? Why, why why is that? Why do you have disadvantage? Because I'm really close to it. You're not. Yeah, I have to be. I have to be outside of thirty feet. I thought. No, you don't. You just need to be Ooh, not no. in melee range. Oh, okay. Yeah, like well, then I'm okay. 
Well, that's yeah. good. Uh, it's. I don't think I'm gonna hit. It's just a. It's a 14 to hit. Uh, a 14 on this does hit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so she's like, gun, 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 gun. Um, four, uh, seven. Okay, cool. Uh, since we did it in this order, yeah, I am going to have, uh, I am going to have Dogverb get the kill. But yeah, I still it. want you to run the, uh, ru- uh, have r- roll the Constitution saving throw. So both of you kind of like blast mm-hmm. in unison as the the bagpipes go mm-hmm. off and the baguette goes off, and you both kind of like double bullet <laughs> it, this brain or this like oozy oh, yeah. creature as it explodes. Uh, yeah. do I do a Constitution save? Mm-hmm. Just uh, to see if you throw up or not. Oh yeah. <laughs> I rolled a dirty 20. So I actually, she like hates these things enough that she's just like die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. You, you hold it. The, the fragrant fragrance of dog burps bread That's shot it. is going to, uh, kind of like neutralize the, the gag reflux of yours. Yeah. I should um, always go like to battle with a, a little baguette under my nose. <laughs> it's like such an anime fucking move. Bread shot. <laughs> bread shot. <laughs> it's very one piece. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with that, we're at the ba- the top of the initiative order, and you all see floating through the doorway behind you. Oh. This black ink covered mind flayer Ugh. floats the door, and so and you recognize it as the one that um uh you all had this encounter with before and it looks fucked up. It looks like beaten up and broken and bruised. And it's like, uh, it's like screams in your head. You lied. (laughs) (laughs) And he says, the world will, he's like, I do not care where you are. This world is ours. The circle will continue. Uh, He, he says, this is merely a misstep. He says, give me is um, he made me a drink before, and he will make my drink again with his body. And he like screams into your minds. <laughs> oh my Gross, god, man! Um, and I would love like that. Obsessed with you, he is absolutely. And with that, I would all love for all of you to roll an intelligence saving throw as uh, the desperate blast of this mind flare's mind that. blast goes throughout the room. Is this um? A magical uh, check. It is not, unfortunately. Uh, you do have Bardic Inspiration yes. still, uh, Bart <sighs> Okay. Twenty-two. Ten. Is that with Bardic Inspiration? Yeah. Uh. I rolled a 14. All right, cool. Uh, Gray boy, you look around. Is the, like You can see the whole world wobble, and you recognize this is the psionic energy of Mind Flayers, um, and it is vile. It is terrible. Um, and you look around as every one of your companions, both Izix, Dog Burp, Bart Mondo, and Effie are all paralyzed by this mind, the psionic mind blast. Everybody? This, yeah, everybody except for you um, has just taken. And so uh, it is now going to be your turn as it has floated mm-hmm. in this room, cast the mind blast, and that is the end of its turn. And it's just floating there, you and it. And it says, it says to you telepathically in this mind, the rock is ours. And it says, give up here. And I will still give you your fifty thousand dollar gold. <gasps> Come with me. He says. He says everyone is is stuck. Everyone is frozen because the time loop will end up in our favor. Give me Isix, and I will give you this gold. And he pulls out the bag again. Um, I'm going to um. I'm going to sort of stand there like I am thinking about what he is saying and then I will 
um, subtly press the button on <laughs> Jammerella's <laughs> keys. <laughs> and I will send uh, the surf jammer uh, just flying into this mind flare. With Bart Mondo on top of it, right? It. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I will also shoot him. Nice. <laughs> um, I will say the rock belongs to no one. And then I will do that and hope that it looks cool and that this guy dies before he can eat my brain. <laughs> uh, roll an attack roll for Startilda. Okay. But it's, I, can't, I can't do the jam. It's uh, Jamarella. Jamarella. Jamarella, yeah. That's a fucking natural 20, baby. Yes! Yes! You are Jamarella. I love it. It's incredible. Incredible. <laughs> can you roll 4d10? I can. Oh, here we Ooh, go, Jamarella. Get some jammies. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Twenty-four. Not quite. Pretty All right, good. now shoot your other shot. Nineteen. Nineteen does hit. Yes. Pretty good. Mm. Take him down. For the rock! He's gonna take 18 points of piercing damage. Oof. From that hit? From Yeah, from a sneak attack shot. Why do you have sneak attack? Oh, I thought you didn't care. <laughs> so I was gonna go based on that from before. I don't know. Maybe the did, maybe I distract here. Okay, here's uh, my you know thinking. What, you know what? You know what? I will, I will appeal. Let, I, I, I will let you roll a stealth check, and this makes no sense. This is not rules as written. I will I'll let you roll a stealth check to determine if uh, Jamarelda is an ally or not. Oh, okay. Because like, right. if an ally is within five feet, then you get what advantage I, no matter what. What I was going to suggest well, was like a sleight of hand or something so that he doesn't see Jamarella coming. Sure. And maybe yeah, yeah. he's surprised. Totally, totally. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, let's do it that flavor wise. Armando's on Jamarella. But yeah. Oh, that's yeah, true. There is an ally right there. there. I want you. Uh, you need oh, to yeah, take with advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sleight of hand, right? Twenty-one. I got perception, but what is my perception bonus? Ooh, I got a twenty-three. Ooh. I rolled an eighteen and have a plus. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, yeah, a plus six, so it's a twenty uh, four. four. Okay. Yeah. Well, then it's yeah. substantially less damage. Yeah. Okay. Which I will tell you. The one mm -hmm. time ever I outroll Aaron. All right. <laughs> it, it matters. Eight points of piercing damage. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, it looks inc it's still up but looks incredibly fucked up as this you know y you have this moment where you you throw your uh, you shoot your crossbow at, at the same time that the board is hitting him and it slams into the side of its oval shaped head and all of this ink just goes flying out of it it's clearly incredibly w wounded yeah. and it just like spits out this ooze as well and then your your crossbow bolt just like hits it in the chest too and it's like looking wounded trying to uh, compose itself as it's hovering in the air but is still up and floating and toward you I'm going to run and grab Izix and just kind of run into the boxes. Izix is still in my pouch, I think. Is it Izix? Can I just grab the pouch? Knocked out? Sure. No, uh, Izix is up. It's oh, just Izix unconscious. is up? It, okay. it, 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 he is stunned, but he is not uh, unconscious. Yeah, he's right. stunned, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, sure, you can you can uh, 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 roll a slide of hand check to see if you're able to grab it as an interact object. Okay. DC is 15. Mm -hmm. That is, I rolled a 15 on the dice. Cool, perfect. Okay. Yeah. You, um, you're able to roll up and like you do all this, you grab the... Um, I grab the football. The pouch. Yep. Cool. You should be able to move the token, so move you and uh, Izix to wherever you are. That is going to bring up uh, Barmondo, if you could roll an intelligence saving throw to see if you're saved here. Okay. Is it at the top of my chair or the bottom of my chair? The bottom. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you succeed, you're just unparalyzed. 
Okay, I got a seventeen. Cool. You are you break out of it, which you know give us some flavor uh, on that. Uh, he he uh he breaks out of the stun and crumbles crumples to the ground, but he also turns back into Bart Mondo because his rage has been quelled. Oh, you're a rage um, shark. I see. Effie. Rage. Oh yes. Can you also roll an intelligence saving throw? Nope. I rolled a five. No, cool. it's it's plus two. I rolled a uh, eight. Cool. So yeah, you do hear inside of your head the bagpipes playing, but you are still frozen in place. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and that is going to bring up um, uh, Dog Burp, who's going to try and break it as well. Uh, is unable to break it with a 14 just right under and that is going to bring up uh, Izix who's going to try and break it as well nope Um, and then uh, I skipped skipped the creature but it doesn't matter because we all uh, we're just kind of all doing it together so this mind flayer looks up and is going to look at Bart Mondo and is going to move toward Bart Mondo and um, sorry uh, you see the creature float toward you uh, as you are frozen upon this spell jammer ship that you love. No, I, I broke it. You broke it. He's the oh, only yeah, one who oh, broke it. Oh, so you're not incapacitated. It's still... Yeah, going, uh, it's just oh. me over there. That's, That's inca- huge. Well, Dog Burp and I are both incapacitated. Yeah, but you... Oh, it's huge, huge. Total game changer that you hit that... That then. Um, I think he's still going to attack you with its tentacles. It's still going to okay. look up at you and going to see you as you have the surfboard has slammed against his head, but you are delivered in front of it and you see all the tentacles just ah, up at you. And, um, that is going to be a 25 to hit. Um, so it's going to do 15 points of psychic damage. Um, are you still conscious? Yes. Um, Uh, hang on, hang on just one second. Yep. Um, I have a reaction. I think, I'm not seeing it here. Rats. You are grappled, and I need uh, as the tentacles hit your head, and like as they touch your head, they do that damage. And I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. You can use your reaction to swipe your tail and roll a d8, applying a bonus to your AC damage equal to the number rolled, potentially causing the attack to miss you. What is this? So, um. No, I think I have to be in my form of the beast for this to happen. So go ahead. It was 15 damage, and I need to make an intelligence saving throw? Correct. Yeah, yeah, because the the tentacles grapple you. They've hit your head. Okay. As they're doing that psionic damage, they've made contact with your head, and they do that damage, and they've grappled you, but you need to make an intelligence saving throw to figure out if you're stunned or not. 18. 18 saves, so you're not stunned. Huge. 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 Um, And then, so that is going to... uh, but, But you the tentacles are around your head and you are Mm -hmm. grappled. Um, So that's going to bring up um, uh, Great Boy, it's your turn again. Okay. Oh, God. Um, The Mind Flare looks messed up, right? Incredibly, yeah. All right. It it got on the ship beat up and it's, it's even more beat up now. I see it wrapping its tentacles around Bart Mondo's face and I'm going to um, from up on top of these boxes I come jumping down and I charge this guy with my rapier I'm going to try and stick him somewhere soft somewhere soft (laughs) That is a 21 to hit. 21 does hit. Well done. All right. And I have an adjacent ally, so I do get sneak attack. Come on. Oh, all right. That is 18 points of damage. All right. Give us this flavor here, then, Aaron. Yes. Tell what this scene looks like as you... Uh, take down this mind flare. Um, 
Yeah, uh, Bart Mondo is sort of climbing up, preparing to hide in these boxes with um, Izix, and then he sees uh, sees the Mind Flayer just wrapping up Bart Mondo and preparing to probably eat his brain, and uh, something inside Gray Boy snaps, and he does something he's never done before, which is tried to help another person. <laughs> and he goes flying through the air and like lands on top of this mind flare and just shish kebabs his squid head with his <laughs> rapier. Um, and just for and the just fun- just kind of, of falls on top of him and I will also uh, try to reach into his ropes for that 50,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> just for the fun of it. Uh, I want Bart Mondo's bane here is that when um, Gray Boy Burgleblatt lies, he has to roll with disadvantage and an inside check to figure out if he understands the lie or not. And with Gray Boy Burgleblatt's bane, anytime you're being sincere, you also have to roll with disadvantage to try and do a per, uh, persuasion mm-hmm. check. So I think this defeat happens. You You have this awesome leap off the... Uh, these boxes moment and you skewer the head and I want to know if Bart Mondo as Grey Boy lands on the surfboard next to you if you read this as him helping you or if you read this as him doing his job and uh, so I would love for you to roll an inside check with disadvantage and Grey Boy since you're being sincere here I want you to roll a persuasion check with disadvantage and that DC, whatever that DC is, I'm going to take it 20 minus that. And then that is what the DC is for, for Grey Boy, I mean, for Bart Mondo to, to understand the beauty of this moment. With disadvantage on persuasion? Mm-hmm. That is 11. All right. So the, the DC here, you got an 11? Yes. All right. The DC is nine, and you have disadvantage. I have rolled a twelve. Yes. So then, give us the moment of hit you about you like very close. Like the tentacles are wrapped around your head. You're on top of the surfboard of your dreams, yeah. and you're about your life is about to be over. And yeah. Gray Boy saves you here. So I want to hear this from Bart Mondo. Yeah, I think the, the dead Illithid kind of slides from his face and he sort of blinks to realization and he sees Gray Boy standing there and he goes, Gray Boy? So, you're awesome too. And he gives him a gigantic hug. The hug oh, of buddy. the awesome. You're awesome. I thought I... Turning into a shark is awesome. Thank you. They said I was a monster. (laughs) While he's hugging me, I reach into the Mind Flare's robes and and pull out his money. (laughs) Are you robbing that guy right now? I'm totally robbing him right now. That's so cool. When you you pull out the bag, uh, it's full of rocks. Knew it. (gasps) Yeah. Nothing but rocks. That money's fake, baby. Um... And so, uh, with that, you hear uh, you hear a, a shout from above that says, uh, "We need Isix from um, uh, from your captain, from Arabella Nix." Time and, to shine, uh, buddy. Yep. Everybody, get on Jamarella. Is he still Mouth stunned? Up. Are we still stunned? Uh, no, with the death of the mind flayer, okay. it wears off. <laughs> Yeah. Covered in slime. Don't worry, Isaacs. Yeah. You can do it. This is your chance. Man. Come on, buddy. Here, I'll take this night uh, mind flare's head with us. Uh, he says to you. <laughs> it's a good thing this is a five person surfboard. There's gonna be some terrible energy out there, so if you need to eat, eat now. <laughs> I bet there's some good energy too. Yeah, that it's hug like, just now was good. Yeah, it had that's to be good, I mean. right? He's like, quick, tell me nice things. Hey, um, uh, uh, guess you what? Us take baths with lemons sometimes. I think, <laughs> I think, I, 
There's TikToks of it. I've seen it. <laughs> Why do they do they choose the lemons or are they chosen yeah, for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's uh mine are mostly animal TikToks. There's this uh bat who's really old. Oh, I know. Uh, he can't bat. fly anymore, yeah. so they uh they like take and they swoop him around like he's flying. He loves it. He goes yeah. fucking crazy bat for rescue. It. I know oh my one. god, he he loves it so much. Um Actually, I think with this, Grey Boy, let's have you roll a persuasion check without disadvantage because I think at this moment... I healed. We healed our babies. From from the amount of of, of, um, earnestness Grey Boy has done from this campaign, Mm. you have now realized the power of earnest, uh, of being Uh, real. That's beautiful. Five. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It's actually a ten. I rolled a five plus five. Ten. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, Isix like vomits a little bit. Is like, keep it coming. Um. And uh, I played. I learned to play the bagpipes because my grandpa really liked the sound of bagpipes. Oh, that's nice. Uh, roll a uh, persuasion check with advantage. And uh, you guys are my best friends. Uh, oh, wow. uh twenty-one. Keep going, great boy. And uh, dog burp, you showing up here is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. This is supposed to be statistically advantageous, but instead I'm just romantically here for you. I appreciate it. I do. Shot me in the head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not on purpose, though. And that means uh, something. He joins you and puts his tiny little arm around your tiny little body. And uh, for the first time ever, Bagpipes are romantic. Um, <laughs> you say that about your grandpa and you play a little something and it just like frames the moment for dog burp uh, and gray boy um, as you move over. And I'm with just- child. <laughs> and we all laugh and then we take <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, it is ex- slurps that up. Roll with a, the roll a perception feelings. check. <laughs> he's lying. You have to roll to see oh, if he, right, if right, you right. know that he's lying right now. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Bart Mondo. I got a five. No, no, no. Bart Mondo. Oh, oh Bart Mondo. Oh, Bart Mondo. Yeah. 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 Bart Mondo. Without Tomi- advantage any- to- Without disadvantage anymore. I mean, to see if he knows if it's he knows lie. that Gray Boy is. A joke is a type of lie. Mm-mm. Actually, no, no. Continue to roll it with disadvantage because it's advantageous oh. for you to fail. Well, I got a ten. <laughs> nice. Uh, Isix watches you, the flump watches you fail this perception check, and you actually think that Dog Burp and Grey Boy have had a child, and the joy that you feel, uh, Isix is just soaking up and is like, your stupidity uh, is my joy. Yeah, yeah. You should call her J- Jamarella. It's the only name I have. It is a really good name. If I had a daughter, I would name her Jamarella after this surfboard. So, with that, you all all line up uh, in under Captain Bartmondo's uh, guidance here as you paddle them out of the inside of the ship and you pull Jammer, uh, you know, pull Jamarella out to the front here. And when you come out onto the deck of the ship, you are surrounded by maybe 15 or 20 uh, caravel ships. These all like wooden built um, what used to be oceanic ships, but are no longer. And you see like squid ships in the background too, like all these different shaped ships, but there is a full fucking armada in front of you. It, but your ship has landed in a very broken scattered way like your ship's not flying out of here um and you felt it as you all are having this moment the, the ship was rocky and landing and as you walk out on deck you see arabella Nix standing in front of you and kind of being like it's true look and you all swoop out on the surfboard in um barmanda you land it kind of in front of this army of regimented Sweet. troops and they say speak um and the flump uh, is ex- like floats up and he goes, yeah. Ah, and he says it kind of like in everyone's mind that is around him. All of these like captains of different ships. And I would love for each of you. We're going to do to end this mini series. We're going to do a skill check. And right now you are truly, I, I swear to God, I promise that this is what's, this is what's going to happen. Either uh, if you fail on this, 
you do not succeed, and this ship is going to get blasted and no longer <laughs> exist anymore. Um, but if you succeed they are going to know and they are going to arm themselves against their infiltrated ranks here. So we're going to do a skill check and I would love to know each of you can present any skill that you have that you want to use here. The DC is 15 across the board. Um, and I want to, I want, but if you, when you pick this skill, I want you to know how you're presenting it to help Isix's telepathic message get across to all of these captains. Can I play a song to yes. support him, but also give these two Bardic inspiration. Yes. Ooh. As long, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. So, so it would. But, but it. But that that moves it to you're not rolling. Uh, if you want to just roll. give them, th- then them. it's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that worth it? It's up to you. Well, no. You know what? I will say. Uh, you know, I, I will still have you roll. I will raise your DC to eighteen. Yeah, let's do it. All right, yeah. hell yeah, That's let's sweet. fucking go. Yeah, let's go. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, she she plays the, the sweetest, most romantic. <laughs> no, the most inspiring. We we play the romance downstairs. Most inspiring uh, bagpipe war tune. She knows her grandfather's favorite, and she blasts uh, the tune to try and introduce and set a tone for Isix's story. And uh, <laughs> she rolls a 15. That's what you need exactly, baby. Let's go. So it is It is jarring to all these captains have lined up to all of their ships. And you can see you, that there's just like fleets on fleets here. And they're with the, the first moment being you walking out and playing this hymn here. They all kind of like look jarred at it, but they... Not, and they're like continue. One of them yells out, and uh, as the flump continues to project the story of what's happening to them, and you are just soundtracking it, and then these other two scallywags jump in with their contribution to the story. What do you got? So not so we're not doing bardic inspiration because I got no, the, no, uh, no, the no, fifteen. No. Uh, you had a success. They don't get bardic inspiration. Okay. So I, I'm, okay. I'm counting it as a success. Okay. Okay. No, they don't get bardic okay. inspiration. It was 18 okay. to get. I understand. I am going to turn into a land shark once more and use an athletics check to flex to prove that that part of Isix's story is true. A man sure. can become a land shark. <laughs> And if that part is true, who knows what else might be true? Eight. I roll a nine. <laughs> I think he's get he's just he's getting used to turning into a shark. So when he turns into a shark, one of the eyes is all fucked up this time. And he's like, oh, oh, "That wasn't it. Sorry." Oh no! All right, that's all right. two failures. Oh, but wait a minute! Wait, I get advantage on all strength checks and saving yes. throws in my in my. Beast form, shark adv- shark vantage, shark vantage shark nineteen, vantage. nineteen oh! shark vantage. Come okay. on, uh, pile on the flavor here, Jorpo. Uh, oh, he's he's ripped. He's he he looks like he should be wearing rollerblades, but he's not. He's he hangs from the from the the bar of Jamarella. It's very cool. He kind of does like a flip around it and lands on it like he's like waiting in a fighting game, you know? He's doing his fighting waiting stance and he goes, "Awesome." Okay, cool. Then I will I will leave it up to Aaron here as the the crew seems uncertain still. And All Aaron, right. so <laughs> did I I'm I'm so confused whether I succeeded or failed. No, no, yeah. and, 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 and I'm going to I'm going to highlight it here, ready? Okay. I I'm um, okay. <laughs> no, I I did the math in my brain while you were talking, and okay. that is that um, Aaron here. If you don't get a fifteen, it is a failure on the mission to convince the Rock of Brawl that the Nautiloids are going to attack. But I won't annihilate you because of Rachel's. Uh, because don't, of don't tell like, me. Don't tell me till after. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but if you, if you, so you might get out of here. But if you don't, but if you get it above a fifteen. It could work. So. Right. We're all good. Okay. Um, 
Look, me and uh, Bob Mondo and Effie and uh, Isex the Flump have been through the pits of hell to be here today. We've uh, turned down fortunes. We've experienced things that no creature should have to experience just to be here in front of you to ensure that the fate that be- that befell Hakatha will not befall the people of the Rock of Brawl. And I would like to use deception. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Go for it. <laughs> That's a dirty 20. Hey. Okay, good. <laughs> Walk us out here, Aaron. Come on, do it. I mean, there's a line of captains yeah. in front of you. I'm, I, I want to hand over the DM keys. The, the joke of this is that you all are DMs now. I mm. want you to walk us out on what this final scene looks like. Do it. You are yeah. successful. There, there, there is a captain who is in charge of everything who has been... Uh, because they have been controlled by the mind flayer fleets, have has been stopped in engaging, beating to them to the this mind flayer armada as they are prepping to invade. And uh, it is clear to you because of all of this like deception here that the, the timing of this is incredibly important. And so you are going to tip off this armada to be able to engage sure. before the Nautiloid army like, is able to engage. So so give us a have, seat. They think they have the upper hand, but it's us. We're going to show them. I want to do like an Independence Day thing. Nice. But yeah, um, yeah you grab one of the mind, uh, one of the yeah, flump's tentacles. Like, yeah. And you're like speaking through his tentacle telepathically into the minds of all of the people on all of the ships. Mm-hmm. I think this is our chance to change our fate so that those creepy fourth ring guys don't have to do an apocalypse or whatever it is that they're up to. Uh, look, I'm no good at giving speeches, but um, I'm pregnant. Let's go to war. <laughs> yeah, they say, let us, you know, let us live our lives. One of them says, let us all, in the rock is not anyone's. And they say, just like, like kind of, there's That's all right. of these. Thanks to Arabella Nix and me. <laughs> and the... <laughs> All these captains start to run back toward their ships and they start to take off. And you see um, in the air uh, as the the fleet of the Rock of Brawl is activated and starting to fly out, these Mind Flayer ships start to swarm against them and they start to hit up against them. And they're like, the fight begins and flying from behind um, these Nautiloids, you see this fleet of what looks like a school of fish floating through the air for a moment. Oh. Of all of these uh, finned ships come out of nowhere and start attacking from the back as well. And uh, the flump looks back at you and he's like, does anyone know who the sinker is? Because these these dudes are very stoked to defend the sinker's legacy <laughs> um, as another fleet joins in them yeah. as well. And I will say, we are going to call it specifically there with this crew saving the Rock of Brawl from invasion and also strategically being able to set up the uh, the fleet that has been floating around the edges here, trying to be able to uh, find a way in as well, uh, being able to strategically join them. So awesome. that's it. Very cool. You all, you all did your duties. Um, Dang, did it. We did it. And I, and I kind of want to not do too much of an epilogue because I want to pause it there because I believe that this crew might come back. In an I wonder point, if we'll see them this again. This calls for a tummy time, or tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy tummy, 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 tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get inspiration for that. I'm the DM. <laughs> take it home. Take it to work with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Roll with advantage oh on your gosh. next project. Arlen, we did it. Well Great done. job. Very good. Cool. Cool. We did it, everyone. I was trying to eat your brain so hard and it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Congratulations. Good rolling, good gang. Good work. As per usual, I threw an incredibly deadly encounter at you and you rolled your way out of it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make those big moves. Yeah, good job.
Way to get lucky to win. Uh, but cool. <laughs> uh, this has been our our little mini series. If you are, Streets if you're, of brawl. Um, I w- in fact, I would encourage you to, if you are a fan of Better Than Heroes in general and you're watching this, this is probably why you're here, uh, send this miniseries to your friends if you're trying to get them into our show. If they're a fan of uh, TTRPGs in general, send them this yeah. and be like, yo, this is what they're about. If you they don't like it at all, but they like playing games and they want to check something out, be like, hey, look, this doesn't cost you 300 hours to check out, but you can check out these wow. fun weirdos playing games. Maybe you might like this. Either way, that's my pitch to you all to share this with your friends. Yeah, it's a little um, taste. It's a, it's the first one's free. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but that's it. That's our last stream of the year, baby. Uh, we do uh, we do have a horse night stream uh, later this week, but that's at least my no, last No, we don't. Game. It's canceled. No, no. We yeah, are not recording. Just... We're still going to stream. Oh, yeah. Um, Very cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, We're back. It's back on. <laughs> Yeah, it's back on. Yeah, there is a horse side stream later this week. I would highly suggest you checking out Jordan's very good DMing over on D and D. Lots of fun. It, those horses. Fun. That's horse nights. We're all horses. Um, and yeah, that's uh, See? y'all. I have uh DM'd about um uh about ninety ish sessions this year. And wow. I'm not going to DM anymore for the rest of the year. So, um, truly, you take are a Lord break. Of just the rolling dance. on it. Yeah. Um, my goal is to just breach uh, breach a hundred every year. Is to just like DM a hundred sessions every year forever until I die. Pretty so. good. That's that is many. It's That's a lot. Well done. Well, I hope I Happy get to play year, in all everybody. of them. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you in 2023 with arc five of Better Than Heroes. We got exciting yeah. stuff coming up. We're going to be back in our usual our usual suits uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and our, 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 our usual yeah uh, in the new year. And look forward to seeing you guys then. A new year suit, it's yeah. the same one from my birthday. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. just a diaper. Get us, yep. Get us out of here, Case. Bye. We love you.